What's going on, everybody? Bright and early here in Daytona, Florida for more CEO 2023. We got your Dragon Ball Fighters Top 32. I am Brad Muse. Joining me for the first time in a ridiculously long time. Ajax, how you doing, my friend? It is uh, quite literally been years, and yeah. uh, that is a crime, but it is not a crime to be able to uh, catch all this great action going on today. Pools yesterday, some washes, it happens. Uh, so but I have heard. There was also, of course, the usual suspects making their yes. way to Top 32, including a couple of our very own friends in the talent of the commentary line. You got both uh, Tyrant and Jake making it into yes. the Top 32. One on winners, one on loser side. They actually had to take each other out. Yes, very true. And Jake was uh, Jake was talking to us a little bit about that last night. There was some... Uh, he was, he was blaming the controller. Yeah. You know, everyone knows the old... Like, when you lose to somebody that you, you know personally, right? Is, there's always got to be the, the monitor yeah. was too far away. Yeah, I, I the get... chair wasn't the right height. My butt was itchy, right? Like whatever kind of vibes, right? That's so a was whole like, skill issue right there. There's alone. a whole it's skill diff, massive skill diff. But so he was talking about that he had to use somebody else's hitbox than his own because he forgot to update the SOCD. Because mm. uh, obviously, you know, Capcom put out the SOCD requirements for Street Fighter VI. But if you're used to playing the older titles with the older SOCD style, it can be very weird to try to go back. I don't know if you've tried to go back and play. I play on pads, so I don't have okay. to struggle like everyone else. I, but also, I should play on hitboxes. I should. I want to cheat. That's just the way I want. Uh, that's why I want. I want. I don't want to play honest gameplay anymore. I also want to join the party of cheating. But you know who doesn't cheat? My boy, Legendary Pred over there. Now he kind of maybe, but like that, that's a different story. But <laughs> Legendary Pred, of course, uh, absolutely one of the biggest names and contenders to take this whole thing. Uh, give a little rundown of some of the people who are here. You know, Shanks couldn't make it this time around. So on the number one seed side, people get maybe a little confused to see Levi there. That's because Levi was able to cruise through pools. There's no Shanks in the way. Who knows? Maybe we got a dub. But um, Pred got uh, Tyrant, <laughs> Tyrant there. Uh, Lucar is another big one that I'm looking at because Lucar uh, even. The last time these two ran into each other at first attack, it might have been actually sooner. I don't remember if they actually fought at Combo Breaker or not. But uh, when they ran into each other at first attack, Pred was the only one to take out Lucar. Okay. Because he was on the winner side of Grand Finals. That's how good Lucar was playing. And he only keeps getting naturally buffed as the game continues to change <laughs> because he doesn't play traditional anything. He's out here playing Videl, 16, and UI Goku when everybody else is out double fusions. Double fusions have been taken down, obviously, with the yes. new, uh, with the new the, meter the game. The meter here. game nerf. Yes. It, Did you a, call it a glitch? No, no, change. I, oh, I, I heard <laughs> well, glitch, well, and I was like, that is a bold <laughs> No, 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 no. We'll, we'll pretend that it, maybe it was a glitch or something. But it's just something before. But uh, the, the thing is, it's like, yesterday we saw full maximized combos with Gogeta Blue, and he didn't even build a bar. And I'm not saying I'm, I'm upset about it, <laughs> but uh, it was obviously making a very big difference in how the game is played. I saw a lot more Z Brolies yesterday than, like, than some of the regular cast. So Sounded like some season, was it season two, season three type? Yeah, where great times. Z I mean, times. He's, he's always back been, to the great times. he's always been the only big body character that seems to be like, especially in team style, like versus style games, playing a big body has always felt like it's supposed to be a detriment. And then Z Brawly has always just felt immune to that, where it's yeah. like, yeah, I mean, like, it would be bad if you could get at me, but I'm the best zoner in the game. Yep. In a game where zoning is like, particularly not as strong as it should be. This was the longest button check I have ever seen. Okay, no, I don't blame them for it because yesterday somebody did a button check. They did a whole button check. They go into the round, and he had heavy on the touchpad. If you do a button check and you don't have your buttons correct in the round, hold that. I'm a, <laughs> so He still won the round, though, I'm crazy enough. A, I'm going to keep it a buck because I'm a very vocal opponent to button checks because I'm like, we did not fight to get button check in the character select screen <laughs> to not, to still get button checks. I'm gonna keep it a buck. My buttons were messed up yesterday and it cost me my Street Fighter pulls. Again, that sounds like a whole skill issue. It was, <laughs> a, it was a massive skill diff. You know what, I sat down, I quite literally lost the character select. Well, uh, something that has happened to get a character select, right? We're here to start off Top 32. CEO 2023 is online. We are getting ready to get everybody prepared for that Top 8 trip to the arena. And we're looking at Z Broly again. Obviously, Pred, we're going to see that Team Gohan. That's not going to change. He kept Lab Code in there. He's still got 42. 
But there's the Piccolo, there's the Broly, there's the Beerus. Three individual winners of the recent patch. Yeah, I think we saw Beerus seeing some representation in the previous patch, but definitely seeming a little bit better represented. They keep uh, buffing Zane. Like, yeah. I don't know, right? <laughs> They're like, we, we like you, you are God. So, oh. uh, speaking of God, he's getting that work done in right now, already catching him on the overhead, but now, here becomes, here comes the nightmare mix-up time. Yep, what's it gonna be? Keeps him locked down, okay. No, you still have to, there's, this goes for so long. Doesn't find the 2H on the guard cancel though. I think Diablo was definitely in a spot to be able to make that happen for themselves, but they weren't really ready for it. Damn, the homing missile that is JL, able to get the first hit there on the Tohan, bringing in Piccolo. You gotta pay attention to Piccolo recently as the ability to convert off of just regular JH jumping in. So you're not gonna see that too often, but it is a new route he can take. That I was gross. I'm not, I'm not surprised he popped it there, but he's very lucky he got around that because Diablo had that layered. That was, I, I always forget that Piccolo Orb is one of the only moves that will vortex you out of the corner enough to get a cross up. Fred cashing out the level three here on Majin 21. What's the Oki situation gonna be? Oh, goes for yeah, the Z assist. Immediately. Yeah, I'm completely here for that. If I have to keep one of these assists on deck, like obviously Bros is going to be incredibly strong like right there, but I would like to keep the other one, but it doesn't even matter because he opens up, up again. He hasn't been able to cash out a whole lot of damage yet, Brad, but he does consistently find the openings. I think it's one of those things in this game, it can feel like you, you either have, you know, you either call your buddy Todd, or it can be a little bit attritious. You up. should be able to cash this one out, though. That's certainly oh, at yeah, least that, a 1-1-1. One, 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 you but you know don't Diablo's drop it, we got to make that clear. Don't drop, he's dead. So, 1-1-1. One, one, one. You might not even need... I guess you don't even need 1-1. One, one. You just need two. Cash it out into Beerus, brings it back out. You got Piccolo ready. You got Broly, who's not had to do a single thing yet. Mm. It's a hot start right now for Diablo. He's just holding it down from the, the extended universe. The Legends cannon. <laughs> Hey, wait, I'm not gonna lie, I'd like to see some of that. Ooh, standing low, is not prepared for it, wasn't ready for uh, for buttons in. That's, I mean, Fred, don't drop these, even with the two. He's gonna, he should be able to cash this out. One and three. That's I think the sad. question is gonna that's be, not gonna be... That's gonna be close. Yeah, one he's gonna three. have to win. Oh, wait, no, that's Gohan. What am I talking about? He's no, dead. No, of course it is, but I think one of the difficulties here is, you know, he only has the C assist in the back, so this neutral game is gonna be a little bit difficult because with that extended cooldown timer on the Android, on the uh, Labco 21 assist, it's gonna be a little bit harder for them now. Oh my goodness, you could just snipe with a Or you could just punch the hell out of somebody trying to jump in on you that and get a, the job done. That was an unfortunate advantage. I, I think, like, there's a little bit of scramble situation there for Pred, but we do manage through that scramble to make some stuff oh. happen. To Tohan has always been a character that, like, in the scramble, they're just rubber banding to you. 2M underneath the key blast. I was just about to say, too, with all these recent changes with these full screen conversions, with the beams, with full screen tackles, Go on, still been one of them that hasn't really cared about that. He could jump in on you regardless. He's got kicks, he's got to be able to convert. And now we got level three, goes for overhead, goes for DR, but good tech from uh, Diablo. Oh, wanted for the 2H, but Fred on the Tohan was able to get around to the other side. No, we still don't have enough damage. Diablo gets one more chance, but one touch will be enough to do it. Yeah, and is Tohan is so short, right? So the Key Blast zoning from uh, Z Brawly, there's like a pocket on the screen that's gonna happen where it's not gonna work out for him, but we do get the hit on that big Here's jump. Here's a big difference in. now too. Like, with the, you don't need to go for it here, but if he chose to, he could have just went for JH and not spend the bar. But level three, cash out, it's not gonna be enough. No, he can but cash out more. He's gonna be able to TR, that's right. He's still got level one, Never mind. That is Gohan going down. He's got a pixel left, and he's got two bars still on deck. Fred's gonna get that extra bar, but this is not done for Diablo by any means. No, not at all. That is, depending on the starter, that could be a two-touch against Pred. But you gotta play so careful here, especially because, okay, JH, you see Diablo doesn't want to overextend, doesn't want to get yeah, into a spot where they have to worry right about now, eating a random limb. Yeah, you don't want, like, I mean, you still gotta worry about armor no matter what, but the last thing you want to do is trade, so that's why Diablo's being super careful, and he just oh. catches the command grab, he held on to that all game. I like the idea of that. You wait for the very end. I don't think Fred wanted to use that right away. But look, yo, Fred is, Fred is stressing. It is 10 a.m. It's too early for this. Yo, and what I act extra love about that is if Fred was wrong, if Diablo held up back, you're not going to die. There's, you had at least yeah, one had, more guess. You had one mistake available. You had one more. So you know what? Take that risk. Sometimes when we evaluate the risk reward, sometimes you need to keep in mind the context of your situation in the game. And it's like, yeah, if this is wrong, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a brick. But yep. I, <laughs> I'm a little actually, hungry. I actually, can, I can stomach a brick right now. Well, it's so funny because like this game, like risk reward factor is so skewed sometimes. 
with the depending on who's out there. Cause like with all this with all these changes, like even like maybe, like you, you look at how much damage output you could get, but if Beerus is still on deck on with the, being the last one available, I'm afraid because he's got so much damage cash out. And you can't even you can't even afford to take that one mistake because you right. don't want to have to deal with Orb Oki. But Fred has been here many times before. He was able to slow it down. Spin the win still works for pressure though. He's gonna get the first opening. Yeah, but how far are we gonna be able to press this? Not only gonna be so much damage, but the corner position here and the Oki that we get is gonna be massively more important. Uses the Tohan assist to keep everything locked down. I like that. In, yeah, I actually I, don't even disagree with that because you're you're more than likely if Pred felt like popping, you're gonna ooh. get two touch. But now he's just gonna stall this all out. Yeah, this is huge. So Diablo is gonna have to make some sort of defensive decision now. The sparking is gone. Pred has spent no bar. We are very likely gonna end up having the resources to kill on the next touch. But Diablo managed to navigate their way out of the corner and is now getting their own mix-up game started. That was in really that good on Diablo too because he keeps layering overheads after overheads after overheads. Yeah. But when he does finally decide to go for the low, Fred's been caught by it twice so far. He clipped by the standing low there once again. And that's after blocking the first 2L. I don't know why Diablo is going back to standing block, bringing in the Tohan now. Is Pred wants to, uh, there's no blue life to get back. I guess we just want to play a different sort of game. The Team Gohan into the Piccolo was a very favorable matchup for Pred when yeah. they played in game one. I, I, exactly. I think that Gohan put in so much work last game. It's like, look, I'm content with having it out. Honestly, the, both the, lab, the lab coat and that, it, I mean, even 21 was looking good, but we barely got to see it play because it got blown up by uh, the Piccolo mix-ups. It doesn't look like Diablo's going to get that opportunity the way that Pred's playing now, and he catches him on the low. Good mix. What was wild about that was there was the instant overhead layered in the middle of that that Diablo was able to block. What's intriguing is that Diablo's getting clipped low, like almost exclusively. They're blocking high so much. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Sure. It's an age-old classic, right? If you keep, if you're not going to respect it, I'm going to take you out. Like right now, that's two down. Broly's left, six bars on deck, but no sparking available. Broly is a nightmare, but for three, yeah. this is looking kind of rough. This is Pred's game to lose, right? You can literally just... Keep it locked down. It's not like chip is a factor. You know, just hold it down. Wait, don't make any big mistakes. Catch Diablo out for overextending. Diablo cashing out their level three here. Trying to front load this damage as best as they can. Get that pressure on Command Guard. Might be finding his way in soon, but he's making sure he's very careful about it. Keeps yeah. him stuck. You can see Pred even went for the fuzzy jump there to be like, word if you do go for Command Grab. Okay, managed to get their way out of the corner with the auto combo, and now Diablo caught out reflecting. That's the thing. Diablo needs to make higher risk, higher reward defensive decisions to make this comeback, and Pred was fully prepared for that. Yeah, and only has to spend the three. This is a two-touch scenario right here. Not looking too hot for Diablo. Like we said before, four bars on deck. You have a lot of opportunities you can make normally, but oh! What the? Oh, no! Spin the wind, still good. You can't, but you he can't was be making me cuss at 10 in the morning. Bro, it, it's too early for that. It's too early for this. Lab has been doing this for too long, but it don't matter because Fred is vibing. Like, even with that one bar, almost got him, almost snuck right underneath to get that standing low again. Oh, you still have all this damage available to you. There's no assists, actually, and we're not getting a whole lot of bar because we used an EX in the middle of that, so you're not actually going to kill. Diablo does get one I'll more catch chance. fire. That game is over. Oh, yeah. But I, I still think this is Pred's game to lose, and he doesn't. Just defensively call to on assist. I know you're going to have to come yep. at me eventually. I'm just going to sit here and hold it down. Yeah, my finger is sitting right there waiting to press mm -hmm. assist. The moment I see you press a button, Gohan showing up. Like, yeah. like that. You, you have to be that good. You have to bait me to use this. He was sitting there on a pixel. Diablo looked really good to start. I actually, I really like the uh, like the team concept. Yes. We're seeing a lot of different stuff right now because if you're sitting there rocking double fusions, you're going to be at such a meter game loss. It's not like they're terrible, but you're playing a game from behind essentially from the start. And we're right. seeing a lot of people start to switch that up regardless. Yeah, I think, I think one of the things that made double fusion so powerful was like, part, it, it was... It was the fact the, the when they changed the way Z change worked and that you could do special move into active switch. It's the fact that fusions, both fusions had so many opportunities to do that, that it was just like, oh, I can do 75% of a Vegito combo and then active switch over to Gogeta and still get 75% of his combo. It was like you were building two combos worth of meter yep. in one thing. Them tweaking it, it was a little bit of a, uh, a heavy handed, uh, pretty direct change. But I think the reality is the way the system works now, combined with the way their combo structure works, 
it was just always going to be a really strong economic choice to play both of them. They're still super solid characters, and I think there's other characters you can slot in behind them that still reap that benefit. Characters like Android 18, where it's like, yeah, I don't really want to play neutral with 18 all that much, but I'll play neutral with a strong neutral character and then bring 18 in, and now you're in the corner, you got to hold this mix. Yeah, I think Tyrant said it really well yesterday, where he was uh, talking about how the fact that we basically lost them as a battery. They, they, they were so good at just, no matter what, you win one interaction, you are now in such an advantage. Like you are just talking about how much meter you get built. Now it's like the strat is almost burn sparking early to get that meter gain that you normally would get off of those combos and then play from there because you're going to start essentially with four, but that means you're burning sparking early. So right. it's not as worth it. Uh, but hey, I, again, I'm still here for a lot of different things. We still got another patch that's around the corner, so we who knows what's even going to happen with that. Uh, but um, it seems to be full screen gameplay is the direction we're heading because not only with the beams, we've seen the tackles, we're going to see uh, Ginyu in a little while whenever Garlic Bread shows up. True. So uh, it's uh, it's been entertaining. Now, I can't tell right off the bat whether people have been pl like playing team button checks or not. However, the theme of Z Broly showing up I think he's the most played character that I've witnessed this weekend. Uh, and if this stays, Nappa's on the team. Okay. Yeah, I think Nappa's Nappa's always felt like since since I think season two when they gave him that extra low, Nappa's always felt like a character that was. Uh, that's fist bumps out yet. <laughs> uh, I, I was gonna say Nappa's always felt like a character that it's like. I feel like he should get more play than he does, and I don't know if it's the kind of thing where it's like, yeah, you know what, the amount of work that it takes for this character. Like, yeah, they're definitely solid, but you got to spend a little bit more time with them. And in a three-character fighter, Look, you know, maybe not everybody's trying to work that hard. He's a working man, okay? He plants the seeds. He's building foundation. He calls in the homies. He's, he's a blue-collar saying. He's bringing in his boys to work. Problem is, he's assistant he's, to he's the regional manager. He's terrible at his job. <laughs> he's assistant to the regional manager. He's a blue-collar saying. He's out here just trying to put food on the table. Meanwhile, you know he's not. You know who's out here? Uh, he was born. He wasn't. Out? He wasn't born with a silver Saiyan pod in his mouth. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I gave, I gave number two. Uh, Jiren, by the way, uh, the damage output from Jiren, uh, Jiren is kind of OD, and mm. uh, we're gonna, as we're seeing already, look at how much Labco is getting chunked. That was uh, that was about forty percent plus just off the first one. Tried to catch him on the tech up, but he wasn't able to get it, and he's got to respect that C assist from Broly. You say, like that tackle coming through, you think it could be okay. You're normally so used to having to deal with the orb, but it said, That was bro, insane. He's dead. I was waiting for there to be a beat to be like, yo, can we talk about the fact that Goku Black is on the screen in 2023? I saw one on point yesterday, and my brain couldn't comprehend what was going on. All right, well, he's going to be on point now after this uh, this DHC to be able to close that one out, kill out the lab code 21. Goku Black versus Nappa. Beerus in the back. Okay, I'm not JL's work out, but I Ooh, feel yeah. like when are we gonna plant? Air to air chase again. I mean, the plant should be coming in pretty soon, but can he keep, like, how long is he gonna be able to keep him stuck here? It's a big key. If you can't keep them trapped, there's no point. Like, right there, he's able there to walk go. his way out. Man, it escaped to another timeline, but it's fine. Nappa coming in with the retcon. Walking around the corner, yeah, three bars. At some point soon, the way he's been playing. Super Saiyan Rose is, uh, he's, oh he's not no. Go down. He, he was close to, he had four, he was getting ready to get the four bars. That would have been a cash out that would have taken him out. Oh, we could have had the cannon ender too. Okay, Ooh. nice parry, or uh, reflect, I'm sorry, coming out from Skeezer. <laughs> I did that yesterday too. <laughs> we are we are currently Capcom brained right now, but uh, hey, Drac is splitting in that work. Go ahead and cash that out, get that level three down. I think honestly, not even just is good for the knockdown, but also he needs a make Skeezer pump the brakes because he's been going yeah. in. I like that instant touch, get sparking up. You can't afford to go down two characters right now. All right, these staggers are huge, using the Beerus assist to set up the Cyberman. The Cyberman makes the follow-up situation off of the DR better for them. There's layers going on here. No, vanishes into the anti-air that came out from Drac. Now Drac gonna build Sabar, level three. Oh, he, there, there's a, he's dead. <laughs> oh, we're one, 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 yeah? He, yeah, he's 100% dead here. That sparking meant nothing to me. Jiren does so much damage on his own. We don't even need one, one. We just need two, potentially. Yeah, yeah. that's it. That damage output is so good. The end of Goku Black level one always does a little bit more damage than I expect. I look and it's like, yeah, maybe you have a pixel. Damn, no. And even and, and Remember, everybody, it doesn't matter five years into this game. If you are in a position where you think it may not and you got the bar to spend, Spend it. Just guarantee it. Make sure they go down. And we mentioned this earlier, though. Beerus at the end. Oh, he tried. He tried. I'm here for it. That's right? one of those, re like, it is kind of a reaching moment. But if he did, you teach. That would have been level three raw. 
on Goku Black. That would have been a lot of damage, but right now that doesn't matter. He's going to go ahead and get knocked down 3-0. to zero. They're laughing it up. I mean, Skeezer was looking good at moments, Brad, with Nappa. But I think he went down so quickly with Lab Coat that he wasn't really yeah. able to build enough bar to keep that pressure up that he wanted. I think that's fair. I, I think one thing is obviously the Lab Coat was m completely nullified. Yep. But I think even more than the fact that the Nappa pressure wasn't able to sort of finance itself, the other issue, I think, was that it felt like whenever Skeezer had him locked down for a second, Drac found that little bit of wiggle room yep. to be able to get out and reset back to neutral, which is not what Skeezer wants in the way that he constructed this team. Drac gets the DR on the Labco 21, has this lockdown in the corner now. How far are we going to be pressing this? We're going to get a fourth bar at least, right? Yeah, he's getting four here. This kid, Oh, you're this... dead? You oh, go... yeah. Yeah, he's you dead. Can go... You can it out. Oh, uh, uh, no. That's no. going to be a pixel. No, that's going to be a pixel. All right. I like the attempt of trying, but that switch out's going to get him out. And now, hey, if I'm Skeezer, I'm going for as much of a blockchain crush as I can. I don't even care if I get a hit. I just want to get that blue light back. Yes. You want to slow this game down at this point. The extra overhead sneaking it in there, but I can't help but feel like Skeezer keeps getting these stray hits and is not ready for them. It's like they're ready for the next layer to be the one that connects. Drac finds the anti I, I love it. Seeing, seeing Goku Black 2H again in the year 2023, it just, it, it just feels so good. That's footsies. They gone. <laughs> he cut them off. Them size heads, those are, those are mine. Give me them shoes. But well, right now, Skeezer is, uh, oh, he, try, he tried to set up in neutral. That ain't going to work in front of uh, Super Dash, man. All right, just going for sliding knockdown. We've got the assist in the back. Damn, Skeezer just not blocking his dome on wake up. Just oh. raw getting hit, jump in JH, it's nothing the else. It's thing in the world, too. It just stares you down. Fuck, like how? There's it's no the hair Lisa in Simpson. your eyes, bro. It's the Lisa Simpson. I'm going to swing my arms like this, <laughs> and if you get hit, it's your fault. <laughs> it really is all on you. And, uh, well, here now, now we're in a real interesting Ooh. position. Well, hey, debuff's on deck. He's all, Goku Black's almost dead, so hey, right. now he is dead, so the debuff ain't going to matter too much. But for Skeezer, it is a little worrisome, and I kind of like the idea of switching in Beerus yes. right now because your meter gain is already going to be minimal. You're already down sparking, so you're going to be you're going to be at the economy loss war here. Is what I would have said because he's finding openings anyways. Yeah, this is huge. I wonder. It, I think the beam has been a big part of Drax's neutral game, right? Yeah. It, we didn't really see Point Broly at all in, in game one, but I, even for the Jiren. Using the beam to pick up confirms off of, you know, mid-range to long stream pressure was a big part of what Drac wanted. I feel like the team is going to crumble a little bit. Now you only have the C assist I in the back. I think he was hunting for that switch too, but he wasn't prepared. He stalled and waited. It looked like he was waiting to 2H that, but Drac walks out on top of it. Right into the level three. The cinematic is going to allow more of that blue life to come back with the Z-Brawly, but Skeezer's again... been real bad at teching DRs. Hey, yeah, there mm. it is! He's been so bad at teching DRs and knew it was coming. Drac has been laying and said, that's going to be free for me. Right into level three again. You liked it so much, here's the rerun. Just wanted a few sounds to watch this episode over and over and over again as Drac is getting ready to take one more W in his favor to move forward in this top 32 bracket. Only one left, Lab Coat 21, and a time pass that might have been extremely frightful. She can still do it. She's got no, three absolutely. bars. No, absolutely. I think the problem is it's going to be so hard. Like, you have to spend so many resources to be able to get through the Jeer in here that it would be a two touch against Z Brawly, but you're not going to get it. And you're certainly not going to get it now. It's, oh, no. Oh, okay. All right. Well, hey, we, we take those. Uh, and you better hope that this works out. Okay. All right. That's one. That's absolutely one right there. So, Skeezer, we got a game. We got we do we got a game, Brad. We're at that mini game of one mistake equals yes. the round. And I mean, if Drac has to play a game three here, take a breather, recenter yourself, cause that was yours to lose. Oh, oh my God! Okay, <laughs> yo, every, yo, I look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He put his hands on his face. Like everybody got to play it instead of get punched in the face, bro. Like he's like, I can't. I can't like, believe. Did I, I just... really just dash into five L? I just dashed it. I just <laughs> dashed say, into right, it. We can think about this or. <laughs> mm. That was that fundamentals. Was you gotta oh. hit him with the rudiments. Yeah. The one, two. Funny mentals, bro. That was hilarious. Well, like once again, uh, Broly, <laughs> Broly is out here putting in work. Uh, I love to see it. I know a lot of people don't necessarily feel the same way because Z Broly is giving them a lot of nightmares. But I like, I enjoy the character. Yo, that's so. first of all, like that's the game. It, for Hashtag real, you're the grappler, baby. <laughs> Uh, Everybody is thriving on grappler side of things. So that's actually that's put the, not put the medals. Put the medals on them.
Get him going. Shout out to Punk winning Royal Rumble. Going through to <laughs> Yep. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> uh, what I was gonna say. Look, I. If it's in the game and it's good, use it. If oh, you yeah, don't 100%. like it, deal with it. And Z Broly, I think there's Z Broly's strength has ebbed and flowed over the the lifespan of this yeah. game. He's had pockets of time where he was an absolute menace, and it was super annoying to deal with. He's had pockets of time where he got mixed to death. Universal Fuzzy uh, was just running. Uh, through him, uh, you know, double fusion meta. He just didn't yep. sort of slot into the way that the game was working in the the previous patch. If he's back in rotation and the game is slowing down a hair, I'm here for it. Yeah, I'm. I said I'm thriving with it. And also, you saw that was uh, the first one I've seen that was using C assist this weekend. Obviously, that it's a lot easier for uh, Jiren to get the combo started off of that, which is why I like it. I liked how he was using that for side switches particularly. But we're talking about all those. And we're going to see somebody who has been super committed and dedicated to his core. It does not matter what patch it's been. If you enjoy Videl, we'll get ready because you, I, I feel like at this point he needs no introduction. Lucar is back up. He's going up against Soul Song, who I did see yesterday. And uh, that was the early starter pool. Soul Song was looking really well. I can't remember off the top of my head what the team was, though. But Lucar, you're going to see Videl. You're seeing 16. You're seeing UI Goku. That Android 16 assist. So good. It's so damn good, man. What I love about the way Lucar uses it, too, is so there's that natural gap in the assist, yep. right? Between the first shots and the second shots. And what happens is you're sitting there sort of respecting that there's going to be pressure. And Lucar uses the gap in that assist to set up left rights, to set up strike throw mix ups, to set up stagger pressure. It's just, you never really know. It's, there's this massive gap. You could do whatever you want, you know and you're so, still sitting there scared. You know what's so damn frightening about it too he's playing essentially with three assists yep. because you have to worry about that locking you down it's like okay so i only see i only see you at goku in the back right no you got to worry about boo he's right there great sam and gohan is chilling ready to tackle too and not even just that but you always have to worry about ex flip kick too yep. he is so good at sneaking that in and it's never it's nearly never obvious. That's why he was able to get to first attack grand finals the way he did. I believe it was over Inzem when he got to that point. Uh, that was a, that was also like the final qualifier they needed to get into World War last year. So a lot was on the line, and he still cru cruised through them until Fred was done with it. And speaking of people who got affected, too, Hit was another one who got yeah. hit on that meter game as well. Yeah, I know. A hit was a character. It was like I remember early on, it was like Hit was one of those characters that felt like they were a little bit of a meter hog, and we've just ended up at a point where. It, particularly in that last season, right? Yeah. Meter hog characters, it didn't matter. Because yeah. Which I think we won't be seeing here, here now I think about it. Do we need stuff to put, like, pretty sure, yeah, okay. Oh, yes, 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 I remember this. Okay, right. more Z Brawly. Dude, Base Gina back in the rotation. He's everywhere. Like, Z Bra like DreamHack Dallas, he was on uh, He was on multiple teams. Granted, that was the first one, like, the first event. Not, okay. like, big event, but event. Uh, post the new patch that happened officially. And I felt like it was just like everybody's normal teams. They're already rocking them. But here at CEO, he's still there. We're seeing a return to form of Z Broly. Like, being able, not having to spend that extra meter to get the wall carry or the corner carry is uh, so good. But also, like, I think you're on the money with saying the game's kind of slowing down a little bit. And he's only going to thrive in that type of scene. What's interesting about that is, like, base Jita being back in the rotation, like, this looks like a team that we would have seen played a year or two mm -hmm. ago, like, before the double fusion meta, right? I'm thinking, like, Sonic Fox-style teams. Um, I think even uh, even Hook was running base Jita, Piccolo, Zebrawly. Yep. And here we see base Jita, Majin 21, Zebrawly. Very similar premise. Instead of double orb, you get the one orb. You don't get the vortex effect in the corner. You don't get that extra degree of lockdown. But, you know, Piccolo Z Brawly was the reason you picked that for that shell specifically. Right? Yep. Piccolo Z Brawly was a shell unto itself. Here, I've seen no shortage of, I mean, you know from our neck of the woods, you know Kite. Yep. Uh, played so much base Cheetah Majin 21. That's why, yeah, 21 has not gone anywhere. If, any, if anything, I was actually expecting to see a lot more mm. of Majin 21 to show up this weekend compared to what I've been seeing from Broly so far. But I'd love to see it. love to see the uniqueness. And there, what we were talking about before, you always have to watch out for Great Saiyan sneaking up out of nowhere. Yeah. And so that cooldown timer, 
he keeps that available all the time. And here it is, lockdown mm -hmm. time. If you aren't prepared for that, you were stuck there, but instead he just gets the opener anyways. Yeah. What was really fast, like the, the pace of this neutral here, you can see that Soul Song is trying to play keep away, and so much of it from Lucar is they weren't even using their assists all that much, other than defensively calling UI when they got close. It was more about using Saiyaman to try to navigate Stagger Pressure. Very good tech coming up for Soul Song. God damn! Every single person this weekend has tried to delay get up against the Lucar, and it has not worked. Ever. And that time he's gonna go ahead and get hit by jam session. He tried to get up and there was UI Goku ready. You're stuck. You're stuck. You can't do it. Yep. You're stuck there. As soon as that happens, you try to reflect the first one. Boom. You don't. There it is again. He's so good at layering it, Brad. It's insane to watch. It makes Videl look like a complete character. She's and OD right now. I don't care. She's like, obviously, it, it doesn't even need explanation. Yeah. I but love she's the, really good right now. I love defensive spark call there from Lucar. You're in a strong position in terms of the momentum on the screen. You don't want to have to deal with that mix up, risk losing all the pace you have. Now, spark off the table for both players. And Lucar still sitting pretty. I think the only problem is Lucar is having to use EX bar to navigate the screen because they want to be able to, like, go up to the top left quadrant yep. and then move to the top right and fall. I oh, good super dash, but we don't get the pickup, but we find the tech chase. After, Nobody. that should be a dead Mazda 21. Nobody's been able to get away from JL from him. Not what whatsoever. That Yeah, that's going to close it out. Hell's Flash, I don't, you do not need to set a second bar. Uh, it, we're going to see a pretty quick switch back in uh, to keep Android 16 in the back. But this is this is just how good it's been so far. He utilizes them so well. But this base Goku, uh, excuse me, base Vegeta from Soul Song yesterday was kind of his bread and butter. So there's still an opportunity for him to get the job done. Oh, good up back out of Soul Song. Lucar was making that stagger pressure really wide, so it hit a point where it was like, all right, cool, you're still sitting here. I'm gonna check you. I'm gonna see if you're gonna eat this throw. Soul Song managed to get out, spends the level three. Oh my God! Bro, wake up DP looking ass. Like, <laughs> 2H on wake up saying, I refuse to hold this mix. And uh, I, you can hold this whole L. That's now two down. Lucar looking phenomenal. Soul Song was starting to pick it up a, a little bit there, but like I said, that base Vegeta was kind of his bread and butter. We're now back into another situation, Brad, where the Broly's got to be the one to get the job done. And the change to the way that people are using Spark, I feel like Z Broly was always a capable anchor, but I think he needed bar, and he benefited a lot from sparking and limit break. We're seeing overwhelmingly right now, Z Broly is ending up on the back foot, and maybe you're flush with meter, but you don't have that Spark. So you have to make a little bit more of an honest comeback. And I think people are just a little bit more equipped to deal with a character trying to play that mid-range with no assists behind them to keep them safe. Yep. You are forced to take a risk, and I think people just feel more comfortable uh, punishing you for those risks. That being said, Soul Song catches out Lucar trying to press risk, the issue. risk, man, he was willing to swing on his way down regardless of Android 16 in the back. He knew the gap, and he saw through it. Level 3 comes down. This would be a big opportunity for Soul Song if he gets this... Depends on whether he wants to go for Command Guard. Oh, he just goes Ooh. with the jump over, and Lucar says, nah, it's my turn. Okay. Using that uh, using that guard cancel to great effect there at Soul Song to find some of these extra hits. Critically also gets them out of the corner. That Videl is now off the table. This Ooh. could be okay. No, believed that they had made the right decision, but UI Goku was in the back. Android 16 has overcome his programming. The friends you make along the way is the Shonen anime way. Oh, we playing our favorite song, baby. Jam Set, yo, just get, all right, I can get up and snatch you up too. Uh, Lucar ain't gonna play with that. Bro, Jam Set. UI Goku does that assist still so damn good. You everything that Lucar does is layered by another option behind it. You, if you think you are safe, you are not. He is always paying attention to that assist bar, and that's why it's so difficult to get him to slow down. Oh my god, doesn't care about the destructo disc, doesn't care about the assist. Soul Song trying to press the issue. Overhead working out for him, but there's no assist, so the pressure is just gonna exactly. end. Damn, smoked! on landing by the grabs. UI Goku are you going? going back down. That's the tech chase. You're like, why would I chase you? I got UI to do it. Calling the father-in-law. Yeah, good job from Soul Song actually being able to play through all that. That tech on DR was the one option he had to get out. He got out finally. And, but Soul Song, so, like Soul Song is always approaching, usually when both assists are on cooldown. Like right now, so Lucar has had no Ooh. reason to respect him, but finally, it, it's, there's nothing really you can get off of that at right. that point. The hits that Soul Song are getting are all in spots where nothing comes of it. And like, yeah, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's right. I don't know if it's a Lucar choice of like word. There's you have nothing in the tank, so I'm not all that worried about being wrong in this mix-up. I'm not gonna commit too much defensively. Hey, Abe, like we said before, sometimes you gotta know the situation where it's okay to take a hit. If you're yeah. gonna get take, if you can hit me with standing overhead, cool. Do you have a follow up? No. Right. Okay. Oh, like, there's I, no right. assist. Congrats! We I took about 15% in total of life right now. 
Ooh! <laughs> Lucar using the EX to go through the Destructor to seize the base Vegeta call. Right <laughs> <now>. God damn! <laughs> Where the hell do you think you're going? Sit your ass back down! Soul Song was not done with that by any means. Gonna send him right back to the ground. It obviously didn't build enough meter yet, but he's, uh, he's kind of sending a message to him. Oh, yep. Defense Ooh, was marking stop, that same. Stop trying that to was, out, bro. That was the exact same situation that Lucar sparked in the last game as well. Finally got a mix-up going for themselves with the assist. Nah, I'm not letting you do that. Lucar is keeping themselves in the driver's seat as much as humanly possible. And it's working out great for them. They draw first blood here in game two now. Well done from Lucar. He's, uh, he is cruising through. Uh, the, the, the defensive options... They try to install. He's not. He's not falling for it. You try to. You try to up back. He's got uh, UI Goku ready. You try to jump out. He's catching you every time. Like that makes you second guess your choices so right. much. And once again, hit by an errant hit. But Lucar's not that worried about it. Fuzzy jump out, earning just a little bit of space. There's so much bar here too. Damn, you thought with punish with the UI. I think it's the first time we've seen Yukai, uh, UI actually on the screen fighting. <laughs> he, hasn't he hasn't even needed to. He hasn't needed him yet. And you got to deal with all this. Like, this is already a problem enough. All right, where's he going? Honestly, like, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what defensive option Soul Song could take out to be correct at this point. Like, oh my god. Cross up nothing into empty low, making the JL whiff to fake the overhead. Soul Song ha staring down the barrel of a damn near full team just walking forward. You know what's messed up about UI on point here, too? UI uniquely doesn't give a damn about Z Brawling. Nope, not at all. Like, you can just hold forward on the arcade stick? Yeah, throw whatever key blasts you want. I don't care. When your final option is one of the best owners in the game and you have one of the best anti soding mechanics in the entire game, yeah, you better start crying. Uh, you need, you you have to, you just have to get rid of him right now. Like, level three and get the guess. He hasn't gone for command grab yet. He has not. Yeah, he has not gone for it one time yet. But you know what? I'm hesitant to like suggest that he do it. Oh my god. Oh, we just get a Z change. Hey. Oh my it. god, that's that's he, safe. Safe Z changes. <laughs> and Wukar knows like, hey, you can't do anything to me here. And oh my god, the sky's the limit for Lukar, but it's a no-fly zone for you, So Song. As he's gonna go ahead and preach that song as he goes to church because he is dead. <laughs> Open casket on him, bro. This was ter Oh my god, dude. Soul Song was looking so good yesterday, but Lucar is just built different. Send and quite literally, his team is so different, it's so hard to prepare for. Sending Z Brawly back to Elseworlds Cannon where he belongs. <laughs> it's okay, we got DBS Super now, okay? But we got we, we do. Got, we got we got Super Saiyan Tarzan now, so it's all good. Super it's all Saiyan good. Tarzan. That is straight in the bro. I, it's not even cap. <laughs> I mean, it's but not. I'm a big fan of it, and uh, what I would be a big fan of is the gimme damn show back. Um, it's been too long. Well, I, I'm waiting for it, right? I, you know what's messed up is, you know, we had the downtime on the show, and then you could not scroll through Twitter without like finding uh, spoilers about the manga. There are every, I have so many. Like we, we all, words we all know what happens in the next like three arcs. And it's like, all right, please just I, animate I, it and make I it look good. I only know what happens in one of the next arcs because I muted it fast enough. Uh, However, people have been trying. And if you do this to me now, <laughs> you're a villain. <laughs> I'm going to get DMs like, hey, what's this? I'm thinking about it. Brad, I will actually at Duncan to tell them to block you, bro. Don't you dare. I will tell them Don't to block you, you dare. now. <laughs> And then they'll block me and say, like, who are you? What? And uh, they don't, they're, they're not paying attention to anything yet. They'll learn, yeah. though. They'll learn. Yeah, well, they'll catch up. One thing that is fun and a good time for everybody, though, is Garlic Bread. Because mm. that is exactly what's coming up next. Garlic Bread has been putting his name on the map since last year and company. Like, last year, not only did extremely well in Dragon Ball, but also did extremely well in Guilty Gear. And ha that has not changed whatsoever. Um, also, one great thing about him, too, he constantly beats Jake Ryan at the locals, which is just, <laughs> which is just, awesome uh and i feel like i owe him five bucks for the entertainment what is it about garlic bread that it seems to inspire salt in people i feel like every time <laughs> kite plays garlic bread he finds me in the venue after he's like yo i can't believe that kid beat me like, that shouldn't have happened it, you i mean kite will say that about anybody though right kite <laughs> kite gets uniquely salty but like i don't know why it's about garlic bread so often i i don't know man i think it's just because like garlic bread plays such a good neutral game that it's frustrating, but it's not like normal. Like I don't know how to explain it. He's just he's really good at conditioning people early. A lot of players need that first round to get data, right? 
I feel like his options are so obscure that nobody expects you to do it. And then game two, he plays normal. It's like, bro, why? <laughs> like, what? What was? What were you doing the first time around? And this, it's not gonna get any better because we're gonna have to deal with Captain Ginyu. Like, it, your life doesn't get any better. And also, Krillin, I, like, I still thought him for a very long time. Even yeah. host the buffs, I still thought he was like, all right. I have been proven so wrong in the past three events. I am a Krillin believer through and through. He is a nightmare. So somebody, wise. I think, I think Kustix was telling me. That garlic was clowning on someone yesterday. I'm not. I would not be surprised. I absolutely would not be so surprised. So I was told that garlic threw the senzu bean and then walked back full screen and demanded his opponent take the senzu bean no. so that he could continue no. to clown. He held his life bar hostage. <laughs> no. That is what I have not seen it. If there's a clip. Please send it to me on Twitter because I want to see it. I or who sticks is a liar. Okay, that is possible. <laughs> Maybe he was writing some fan fiction. <laughs> I love Kustix, man. I didn't know there was garlic bread fan fiction, but yeah. here we at. Oh, my God. Shout out to Kustix Posey, by the way. You'll be seeing them come up uh, after us later on today. Uh, it's our boys right there, but um, garlic bread. Look, I, I wouldn't be, be surprised because he was trolling last year, too. But not to the degree of, yo, pick up the sense of being. I swear if he does that on stream the two-time, I will lose my mind. But speaking of two-time, we're seeing Krillin two different times. We're seeing him on anchor on both of these teams because he's got, he's got that damage. He's got the damage, but then also just the, the lockdown that comes from the rock. Like, look at that. That's a tech chase in and of itself. It's a UI Goku assist that covers the space in front of you in terms of, like, tech chase. It's like, word, you're back on the ground. So much of the mix-up structure in this game is about how can I pull you from jump height to the ground. Yeah. And, like, Krillin is a one-button solution to that problem. Wake Up Spark comes out from Garlic Bread, does not want to lose the captain in you. Baby yeah. assist. Oh, my God, layers. I it's hit it's so hard to see. It's just so much going on. And Garlic Bread got, just to be clear, it's not that it needs explanation, but he got these. Uh, Be Beerus is 100% that. What, look at look at that health disappear as it just shades away. Look and at that, that Beerus bar is gone. Too. Can you, can you look like, my man must have like a great union rep because <laughs> those, that, the, the pension you know, there wait, was looking. Wait, he is from Cali. He is from Cali. Okay. They, they are they are very unionized over there, so <laughs> it's working out. Uh, Roshi got decent damage, but it won't be enough to be able to take him out just yet. Back to the D2, but you talked about the lockdown before, like you said. Ooh, Ooh good delay on that too. He actually yeah. gave that an extra couple frames before he started to press and he caught he caught Garlic Bread trying to get out. Yep, so the Captain Ginyu off the table. Super Baby Krillin versus Roshi Krillin. Talk about winners of the patch, bro. Super Baby's damage output and his routes are already ridiculous enough. If you, if Super Baby now is the epitome of like Build a Bear as a character, wherever you get a hit, you are going. You're get, getting something it, it, dope. Use your imagination because you're getting a route. All right, but two times is able to draw first blood now in this matchup. All right, pulling out the level three. Uh, it's a classic. No matter what, it's still awesome to see. But, oh, DR. <laughs> FDIAD into DR is such, it's one of those super basic mix-ups that you don't prepare for. Well, Garlic Bread caught slipping two time has woken up a ton. And Mafuba, we're going to go ahead and put you in the container. You are done, baby. Yeah, send him out of here. The blue life going to slowly come back, but Krillin going to hold it down. Damn, the Vanish actually gets smoked by the staff from two time. But Garlic Bread with that Krillin managing to lock down the screen decently well. But you still have to contend with that assist. Garlic Bread not having that baby assist in the back just yep. yet. Guard cancel comes out. When is baby? Yes, wants to pull you down. Now you got to hold this mix. I like the attempt of it too. Ooh, not getting re not ready for the opener though. I like the idea of trying to go right after Krillin too, but it's not going to work out for you. Roshi's going to go down. This is uh, the one and only time Krillin is going to go ahead and get a W over Roshi. Uh, we, got the, we got the Krillin mirror. Three bars on deck for two times. The way that he has been playing over the past like minute or so. Oh my god. I'm not too comfortable if I'm Garlic Bread. Yeah, what I was gonna say is like if Garlic Bread has an assist, all they need to do is play passive, find the right spot to call the assist, and make it happen. So We're what do they do? About changes, by the way. Mm. Super dash after after beam. He got he got new routes now. He got full corner carry out of that. Right. Party life lead here for, damn, what a check on the super dash. And we still got pickups off of that. Baby assist in the back for the extension. No, we actually just go for the active switch right into loops in the corner. We're going to get to two bars for this, right? Ben. Yeah, level one, level one. 
Better movie than the MCU. That's <laughs> it's gonna last a long time. Cash it out. Goodbye. Garlic bread was able to minimize the damage, but two time was right there with him the whole time. I think by the time Two Time managed to get through that Captain Ginyu, he had done his work, right? One, he managed to kill the Beerus, and two, he managed to build a wealth of meter yep. for Garlic Bread's Krillin baby to be able to make some stuff happen. And it's it's not even like that meter was necessarily spent on supers. It was all on EX uh, EX flip, yep. like EX after image, to set up mix-ups. Ah, that may be for a couple. There's so, there's so much. You have to respect that spot, and Super Baby's gonna get the opening anyways. What, what in your view, is two times is always losing out on like the start. What does he need to do to be able to replicate that same success he was finding about like a minute into the game? What was, I, what, what was working so well against Robin Brad? I think it's when Ginyu is off the table, because I think Baby is a character who adds so much extra layers of control to the screen. Because once a character's dead, obviously he has the ability to call your assist for him. But now, using Ginyu, call the Ginyu Force assist, what's happening is Garlic Bread is, you know, covering the screen with so many additional layers of stuff. And then you add on top of that that half of Baby's projectiles are going out and then coming back. It's just so much to try to navigate. It's like a bullet hell simulator. Yeah, it's not your it's not your turn for so damn long. Why well, he's gonna be forced to pop target really empty. <laughs> Empty jump, reflect bait. Here you, you got him before with the into I, uh, with the IAD empty jump DR as well. So it seems like two times been pretty solid on that. But I like the fact that Garlic Bread just sparked immediately. Like, look, I don't want you to steal this turn, nor do I want you to steal back anything. Like, it, like you said before, there's so much you have to uh, like respect and wait for the beat. The everything was coming back, catches him on the way in with two H regardless, and it's still it, it, two times cannot find an opening right now. Yeah, and I mean even right there, right? Uh, calls the Jason Birder having that so much lock down there on top of the fact that Baby is exerting so much control on the screen. We're bringing in the Krillin right back into the Ginyu. Ginyu with a, has the full squad and Krillin and Baby in the back. Two times is going to be so hard pressed to try to navigate through this right now. Remember we said earlier too, Garlic Bread has a specific way he plays in game one that's almost a little unorthodox and then game two, oh my the gate is Oh no. Oh no. We got two. <laughs> Shine bright like a diamond, baby. We've got both of them on screen on one team. He's now down to the Ginyu. He's got no assists. He's got no, he's got nothing but level one. It's not looking too hot. No, absolutely not. Double rocks and he's calling Roshi. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at this point, Garlic Breads literally doesn't have to do anything. We're just locking it down. And do you know, what's the over under that two times has half a Ginyu? Bro, he, because you only got half a Ginyu. Right, he's, I, I, I'm not going to lie. Remember before you were talking about him toying with him? Yeah. No, that's what it's looking like. Bro, there's the Sensor Bean. Oh, he, <laughs> he, he's, he's trying he, to he, give him the Sensor Bean. He's beam. trying to make, bro, he really is trying to make him pick up the Sensor Bean. And two time, it's just not about it. You are such a menace, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing with his food. <laughs> Damn! Bro. He, <laughs> he keeps trying! <laughs> he keeps trying! I can't, I can't! Bro, this is some of the rudest. This is some of the rudest game I've ever I'm looking at the seen. player cam, and I'm like, two times is like, he's alternating between yeah, like, he chuckling <laughs> and then like feeling uncomfortable. Double sensu! And two times is like, no, I'm not taking it. Garlic was like, no, eat it. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I, th I think I think he got the message. <laughs> I th I, th I think he finally understood the assignment. Like, bro, that's some real like. I see you hungry. I see you got ramen. Put the sense of being in the ramen noodles, bro. That's like, <laughs> it's checkmate. I'm waiting for you to catch up. You don't even know. I killed you five I, minutes I ago. I can't, bro. That is some of the most dis disrespectful gameplay I that have ever seen, and I love it. That was so funny. Man got not one but two, and he he uh, he saw immediately like, oh, all right, well, you are one hundred percent. You gonna eat, bro? We all yeah. eating together. I'm, I'm, I'm setting the table. It's, it's all real good. early in the morning <laughs> to be having that. That's like an English <laughs> breakfast. You haven't not beans. Beans, you haven't beans for breakfast. The, be, yo, beans with the toast. Beans with the toast. Garlic there we are. Right there. Garlic. Oh, <laughs> that's the strat. Yeah, <laughs> it's the lore. I can't. I'm done. Well. Yeah, maybe he was talking to Tyrant and like uh, all the reversal boys. Maybe it was like, oh, you guys, that's what you do? Maybe he was yeah. feeling a certain kind of inspiration. <laughs> so much like a normal California event, by the way, we got 
Garlic Man was able to take the dub. He's on winner's side. And Jake Ryan's on the loser's side because Jake Ryan is coming up next uh, <laughs> versus uh, Dake Damn. Daniel, which, funny enough, I love Jake. But <laughs> we got a Dake Daniel coming up, which actually, there was the battle of the Daniels yesterday. Uh, there was what Daniel do versus Dake Daniel. And uh, what Daniel do, actually very solid player, uh, went down. He was actually pretty frustrated. And uh, Dake Daniel was thriving. Uh, he, he was into it. As you can see, he's very animated, having a lot of fun already, uh, up there already. But he's... Solid, uh, and uh, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see a very strong performance out of him here. Well, talk about Jake. Talk about people who got nerfed essentially with the fusions. He yeah. doesn't have double fusion core really to work with now. Mm -mm. So, do you know has he has he changed his team? I, I haven't gotten the know, chance to I see. I don't him. know if he's actually changed his team yet, uh, but um, I wouldn't be surprised. To, he probably still has Gogeta four. Like probably, I, I feel like I, I feel that, like I if you were a four Gita, if you were a four Gita player, I feel like you picked. Like, Forgita slotted into, like, a double fusion-y team. Yeah. But I think if you picked Forgita instead of Blue Gita, it was because you wanted to play Forgita specifically. So I would guess, like, if you were a Vegito Blue Gita player, maybe you stick with Vegito because he's, like, a little mm. bit... Uh, I, I think he's been a little bit more stable over the lifespan yeah. of the game. Maybe. I could be wrong. But I think if you were playing Forgita and you're picking one of them, I would guess it's 4 Gita. You can still do like the 4 Gita Piccolo type yeah. stuff that we saw. I did see. I did. I. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna stay with it or not. But I did see Blue Gita a second ago. So uh, I actually, yeah, we so can see. Unless this is a button. Well, I see, I'm team. sorry. I mean Blue Vegeta, not Blue Gita. Blue Vegeta. Oh uh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, Bombos. Uh, another character that saw a lot of love because they gave him uh, what was it? Big Bang Attack. He gets yeah, special he cancel. Could, he could do five in one string. He could do five. It is. Stop it's, playing to the it camera. Is so entertaining. <laughs> I also told Jake that if um, if he ever decided to just like drop kick somebody on stage and pin them, I will run up there and slide and do the top th uh, do the three tap. So the, so I think if him and Tyrant go up against each other, he might do it, and I'm gonna just run up there. and See, do it. it's funny that you say that. I know because, because I'm <laughs> looking at the bracket, and Tyrant dropped down to losers from the winner side uh -huh. after sending Jake down. It, and after this match, we have another commentary match coming up. Tyrant plays Posey. Bro, they're really like they're sending all the boys to slaughter for us to to, to make fun of them. Like, <laughs> all of our boys are coming up here, uh, so we do still see double fusions. Uh, the difference is we don't see lab coat uh, or twenty one because he's played both. We're yep. gonna see uh, blue Vegeta instead, which is really strong. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so I was Jake, about to say. I'm like, we're I, marrying now, the lead here. We got I remember. point SSJ Vegeta. Yes, that's that was what was awesome yesterday. He's actually the one who went up against um. Uh, wait, no, no, it wasn't him. There was another one who went against Soul uh, before, the base Vegeta player we saw a little while ago. But we already see two. Wow. He should be able to get uh, two more at minimum. One takedown. Yeah, you get you get four to five in a string right now. And look how much damage he got chunked for. Okay. Who we see wake up DP coming out of Dank Daniel. Oh, I don't know what that, I don't know if that's supposed to work or if something weird had happened there. But you can see Jake is using the Lariat assist out of uh, Four Gita in the back really well. That was almost an incredibly cursed super dash. Thank goodness for Vanish keeping stuff active. Dank Daniel's trying to play like a solid neutral game here, but yep. Vegeta's always had some stubby buttons. Oh my goodness. Speaking of, gonna get two A's for his shovels. And also, you can't, well, another big thing is you can't uh, super dash through the key blast anymore because you get followed up on. And you have to watch out for that drop kick too because he can actually shift sides. So, Ooh. Dick Daniel's making it work, but Jake not done with that. That was uh, in the corner, started two. You're taking all five. Oh, actually, just four don't matter though. Level three cash out. Look at how much damage he just did, Brad. That was crazy off of an empty vanish. Dank, Dank Daniel had the audacity to try to press the issue. Now you're gonna die for your sins. This is my favorite. This is my new favorite bombo. Easy. It's it's so. I, I know eventually we'll get tired of it, but currently because it's the new hotness, it's that mm. nice new shiny car. I love watching these combo streams. All right, using that Lariat to pull him back down. Clipped by the low, Dang Daniel not watching his toes. Yeah, it looked like it was like max distance on 2L2. So yeah. I think he might have thought he was out of range, but instead, because of that one mistake, he's going down too. Bringing in the Vegito. No, has to do uh, all three to bring in the Forgita, but three characters to one. That one character's trunks. There's no spark. You've got bar. If Dang Daniel's got those to be able to cash out like Cyclone mix stuff, he does. Now, will he land them is a different story. One will he land he them. He definitely was doing them yesterday against what Daniel do, and that was a big part of why he was able to get to W. 
I think the problem is, I mean, especially without Spark, it's it's so expensive to try to do it, and you have to get through three characters, you're gonna be hard pressed to make this work. Yeah, you have to be very, you have to pick and choose heavily, because you need to keep level three on deck so you can actually start to get mixes on Jake. You got a big hill to climb. Oh, all right, well, oh my here's God. your first opener. All right. Right into level three, goes for the vanish be early stopped. because we want to be able to set up a left right mix. Same side. Or nothing. <laughs> oh my god. The best, sometimes the best option is My man is whipping some buttons, finally finds the 2H. Okay. Jake hands it to him on a silver platter. Here is the thing. Sometimes, so Jake has gotten so good over time and he continues to improve. But one thing that he does struggle sometimes in is closing out the game. He, uh, uh, like, if he is steamrolling, he's great. If it's in a last character situation where he's in advantage, sometimes he'll end up overthinking it. Luckily, he finally gets an opener here, so he kind of slows down Dank Daniel, but he needs to make sure that doesn't happen again. That was wake up 5L out of Dank Daniel. Did not believe in the mix-up situation. Now Daniel waiting his turn, waiting for the stagger pressure to be sufficiently wide. Unfortunately, gets smoked by the DR. Nice, that was good. That was his first one, too. So Tap yeah. DR finally sneaking its way in. Uh, and he's got, oh, okay. Wow. All right, well, he's not dead yet, but the next one will absolutely take it out. So Dick Daniel only got one more stake available to him. Got him on the air to air, so that's, a, that's already a start. Okay, we got our re-jumps. Unfortunately, we dropped the easier part of the combo after. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's, you know what? You just wait there. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a great time. Like, you can flip all you want, but the moment that you see Super Dash start up that high in the skies, that is a free yeah. punish all day. You will have to fall asleep at the wheel to not cash out one. So Jake, kind of getting a little band-aid on it at the end, but he was able to get the dub last second. That was not looking too good, though. No, he was definitely, he was he was fumbling it a little bit. Well, that was a, that was another comparatively high Super Dash. Thankfully, he had the assist in the back to keep it safe. And once again, Dang Daniel caught not blocking for his toes. Slipped at the very tip of the 2L, like you talked about in that uh, in that last game. Locked down in the corner, what's the mix gonna be? Gives Dank Daniel a little bit of space, but no pickup there off the air pickup. Oh yeah, everybody's uh, kind of scrambling right here just to find a new opener. We're gonna bring Gogeta uh, back into the, uh, the fray. Gonna get the side switch, push him back over. I'm no, he, I, was, I was wondering, like, I don't think he's got enough because of that meter gain loss. Like, he's not going to be able to build that unless he felt like popping, but there's no reason to pop there. And Dick Daniel, on the other hand, said, I'm done with that. And now we pop because we want to guarantee that he goes down. You're you're obviously more familiar with Dink Daniel than I am. Is the point SSJ a historical choice for him, or is it a newer oh, choice? Oh, no, that was the first time I seen it yesterday. And uh, it's, uh, I'm not too surprised that he tried to go for it because it was definitely his best character that I watched yesterday. But there's a reason like, I, I asked. I feel like, honestly, like when it, playing up against Jake so far at the late game, I think I would have preferred to just keep Spark at the late game because Jake was kind of struggling a little bit. At. What was I think, one, that. But two, I just feel like the way that Daniel is choosing the space and where they're hitting buttons, uh, it, 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 it seems a little fresh. It seems a little not warm. There's a lot of, like, with 5M, it ranges that Jake is like perfectly comfortable with punishing. I'm just a little bit intrigued by it. Cashing out the level three now is Jake to get this. Oh wow, we're going all the way to the level five. We want to squeeze every bit of damage out of this. Hey, you can't get it. You can't get it back. So guarantee that you chunk a bunch away. Look like, look like Jake was oh. maybe looking for that with the 2H, but. Ooh, he had the read on it too. He was trying to go for the up tech read, but it was a little bit too out of range. He does get a new opener again. He did. Dick Daniel always, always kind of picking it up when he's behind. And Jake, Jake's defense not looking too hot. He keeps it's dropping not, everything right. though, so it's like it doesn't matter. Daniel is. That's like part of what I'm asking. I'm wondering if it's not a. You know, I thought maybe it was an SSJ thing, but it first. might just be. Yeah, that might be it. There's. There's a lot being left on the table here for Dink Daniel off of a lot of these Aaron pickups. We get the pickup off the Majin 21 assist in the back. Please, for the love of God, finish your plate this time. Yeah, vanish into level three. Don't leave that food. Don't let it Oh, no, he vanished too early. Oh, I mean, he keeps opening him up again. It's almost like Jake is not expecting him to drop the combo, and he gets open for it anyways. But that is going to be big damage. Medium starters, baby. Level three. Got no sparking. Actually... Where's he going with it? Oh, he boxed wow. his way out. He was not trying to, he was not in the mood to deal with another tap DR attempt. All right, waits long enough for the vanish this time. I think maybe the height of the previous pickup had thrown them off. Now we saw no mix up from them last time. No, 
actually hits the JH out of the Cyclone a little bit early, so it doesn't come out the way that they want it to. Yeah, I 100% th I think stage nerfs are playing a little bit into it, because yesterday he was everywhere but with uh, with uh, the Cyclone mix-ups, and he was landed. But hey, even with the drops, he still keeps getting the opener. So if he can find a way to minimize that, which it's looking like he's starting to do right now, it's it, like he is taking it full advantage of this game and also taking the lead now. Yep, leaving Majin 21 on point now. We only have the Big Bang Assist in the back. Jake, one touch situation on certainly for Jita, depending on the hit and the amount of resources. Could be one touch for the blue Jita in the back as well. That was a brave super dash. No, oh, okay, that could have been really problematic. Yeah, that dash was potential forward. curtains right there for one of them. And a lot of damage on Trunks because he had both in there. Didn't work out. Oh, finds the DR off of Trunks beam assist. And now Dang Daniel takes the character lead. Two characters to one now. Just right. Blue Jita here from Jake, who had been a really solid pick for him so far, but I wonder how he's going to fight without any assists available yeah, to him. Yeah, this is not a position we've seen Jake have to be in yet with Blue Jita by himself at the end, and that's a, that's something we're not going to be able to talk about anymore because Jake goes down in, again, in a very similar fashion to the previous game. He gets the first character down. He takes out the first one from Dank Daniel pretty well with that Vegeta, and then after that happens, something about Jake's defense just kind of crumbles. Like, he... Like he Dank Daniel dropped like five to six combos. And yeah. it kept happening though because Jake it, kept getting hit. Right, and that's what I was gonna say is like, just imagine what that game looks like if Daniel isn't dropping everything. Yep. <laughs> Jake said, nerfs be damned, I don't care. <laughs> like, look, make account not looking too hot. Time to I'm go for my comfort pick. You I'm know going what? Back to what worked for me. Sometimes you go back to that bar you had your first beer at, and it's a little run down. It's not running the same way They're that it was. charging double now. It ain't right, sometimes, but you, it's up top four times as much. But you know what? It's comfortable. You know where your booth is. Jake do got a good credit score to be able to do that type of stuff. He could go back to that bar regardless of it being expensive. He definitely can. Yeah, that's a Cali man right there. Yeah. Jake, I hope this works out for you. <laughs> Jake, we'll have to see game one game of peace to be able to move on. I think this is to get into top 16. Yes, it is. Yeah, this is one round away from a top 16 qualifying spot, so you know they want it. And uh, Jake, is uh, he's got big plans potentially to try and be like top eight, even though he's got his beat there on the mic. But we might, hey, Dank Daniel might have something to say about that because he has been, not only been picking it up, but he's been doing better, but he keeps dropping the combos, man. Yeah, Come on. Man. It's crazy. That's the second time in that exact situation that that's not worked out. Spin to win from Jake, bringing out the lab coat. I'm not gonna lie, it also, it looks like Jake is playing a little nervous, dude. Like, uh, he was, it looked like he was playing good off the start, but he is also kind of letting up some situations we haven't seen him do yet. At least so far when his bread and butters are online, though, he has not been dropping those. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Gonna be able to keep this corner position off the, oh, Ooh. wow. I wasn't ready for that either. I also got hit. Don't worry, Daniel. You're in good oh, yeah, company. No, I stubbed my toe instantly on them heels. She, she is walking all over you right now. Jake picked it up. Here's where the problem's always been, though. Brad, he is now in that spot where, for some reason, once he gets rid of one, he's been struggling. Jake cannot let that happen again. I think that's part of why he switched back to lab coat. He didn't feel comfortable enough with where he was playing before to try and keep them back off. Maybe he didn't like the matchup that Blue Gita presented against 21. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't know if it has anything to do with Jake making bad decisions. I think Dank Daniels SSJ Vegeta has been doing nothing for him. That's a good point. And what's point. happening is once he's down to Majin Trunks, he seems more comfortable with those characters. Yep. And despite the fact that he's dropping everything on the floor, he's getting more hits because he's just more comfortable with the character. Hey, Thankfully, Jake in his comfort zone right now, playing the team that he has played for so long, like you said, yeah. nerves be damned. I gotta hit you two more times than I used to, but thankfully I can do that because I'm comfortable. We have solo trunks, seven bars, and a dream. Yep. Oh my God, 5H. We're now you may say I'm a dreamer, I'm not the only one. Yeah, we're now in that scenario where it's kind of uh, your game to lose from this point forward. But Trunks, like you said, hey, starting off with seven bars, this type of damage output, he's a two-touch interaction character all the time. He tried. He tried to go for two on, make sure he got that guaranteed Ooh. KO. But he's still open up Jake, and he's got that type of damage to be able to close this out. So that sparking may, be, may not be enough. Oh, he's got the pixel, but he can catch up the extra bar, make sure he guarantees it in Jake. Two touch interaction goes down once again. All right, we got double fusion. The old battery, 5M starter though. Jake still has so much bar here. <laughs> the meter gain nerf only matters if you need the bar. Cashing yep. out the level three now. 
It's only one more mistake available for Dank Daniel. I like Cyclone just to get out of there, get out of that situation. It's not comfortable. He's got to keep walking back and forth, trying to change his future, but it's not looking too bright at the moment. He catches him. That's going to most likely take it out as long as Jake does not drop it. I got to make that clear just because everybody's been dropping him, and that is going to be the round for Jake and guaranteeing his trip to top 16 on the loser side. Yeah, I think you could even see he took the headset off once he once he did the once he did the super. We were uh, we were definitely there. You could see that what was happening was Jake was in that pocket of like word. I'm gonna wait for my assist. Go in behind it. Let's just play solid. And you could see that Dank Daniel was trying to sort of they navigated around that Vegito assist at the end there. And we're like, word, I'm going to try to take my turn. But Jake was ready for that super dash because it was like, oh, you think you have room to breathe. Yep. You don't. I'm still going to smother you just a little bit. I'm going to press the issue just a hair. Like you said, moves on to that top 16. And yeah. I've been, while this game was going, I've been studying the bracket to be like, <laughs> we're going to have Posey and Tyrant sitting down now. As we talked about, Tyrant was the one that sent Jake to lose it. Which is funny, actually, because I just thought about this. Posey is uh, queued up to come up the top 16 of oh. comps. So if he knocks out Tyrant here, there's a world where Tyrant might have to A, cover for him, or B, Posey just keeps moving forward and one of us stays here for the remainder of the time. Yeah. Because you know what? This is this is a Dragon Ball specific problem. Yeah. I don't like, I don't know what it is about Dragon Ball. suck in many games. We do not suck here. Apparently, I, but don't, don't say we. Well, let's say not we, like, the royal we, like, sure, like, nah, but like maybe, I suck. Maybe not us. Like I'm actually, hey, Z Broly's back, so it might be my time to play again. But right now, uh, we don't. It's not about us, because no, we're gonna make it about us instead. We're instead <laughs> we're gonna talk about commentators galore because we're out here. We got Tyrant versus Posey up next. Not what you'd normally expect to be in this position, maybe. But hey, Tyrant is uh, been having a blast playing a lot of SF6, yes. but he's still very much got it in this. And Posey. He said he wanted to perform. He wanted to do well, uh, not only up here but on the stage. And you yeah. already know HLC they they build them they build them different over there. So no, uh, for Posey. sure. I mean, has long standing for fighters been one of, if not the strongest, uh, local community yeah. in All NA. Free. What? Why are they laughing at the screen? Like what? Did, also, did we miss something funny, or is it just that they exist? <laughs> oh, okay, they're just handing it up for the camera. I just want to go over there, just, just like, just like shake my head and disapprove. But I love it. It's it's awesome to see this. And like you said, HLC, one of the best communities, free uh, for all this. Like li quite literally, the lifeblood of this game for such a long time. Shout out to them. Uh, it, it, Posey, no different than that. Uh, yeah, I, one one of my favorite things. Uh, period. We talked about this many times over. Is getting to see local talent get the t uh, get the time to shine, mm -hmm. and uh, we all came from that. We all been there. And Posey out here last year got to uh, get the good graces of being on the oh, stage. Oh, okay. Himself. I understand. Yeah. I just heard there's somebody in the crowd yelling. I have an assumption as to who it might be. Uh, and. There. Look, I don't so think Posey we need, and Tyron are laughing their ass I don't off. think we need to assume if they're laughing who it is. Uh, so anyways, I'm pretty sure I see acoustics hovering over here. Yo, let's just, <laughs> let's call a spade a spade. Uh, he, he he prob it's probably... He moved over. <laughs> Yo, he's got to let us know. Look, just so you know, like during a match like this, acoustics is technically the third commentator because you're going to hear him from the crowd. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it, though. Uh, it's, uh, like I said, this could be a lot of fun. But also, there is merit to this because, again, this is a qualifier to get into top 16 on the loser side of bracket. And... Uh, there's a lot of pride in it in it of itself because no matter what, until the next event where they can run into each other, one of the two gets to say one of the one of them has to hold that. Yeah, bro. Hey, look, remember that time I freed you up? Yeah. Remember that time? Ah, uh, that's crazy, bro. Like, oh, 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 you got a higher commentary block than me this time? Yeah. That's wild. Though. Remember when I outplaced you? Like, oh my god, you had to go sit down. You had to go sit down. Mm. While I still had to play. That's you crazy. That? So we do see Tyrant load in, rocking cooler. Baby Vegeta, I know he's been playing a lot of cooler lately. When he does stream, uh, when he does stream fighters, it's all <laughs> all cooler all the time. I think he was trying to play some Go Tanks for a little bit, but I, I think he's navigated cooler, away. From by it. the way, in the in the DBS canon, like it, they did such a good job of bringing Broly in, and Cooler is the next. Cooler is one. so dope. He is so cool. Like uh, pun unintended. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we're gonna go into game number one here again. This is a qualifier for top 16 of Reversal's Tyrant versus the Hasa Chaos Posey, and uh, Chaos has begun as Posey's already been hit. Yeah, we see Posey. We were talking about that Goku Black representation playing the Goku Black point here has the Majin 21 and the Bluku in the back. Gotta tell you, this team feels a little bit backwards. I know that people <laughs> like Bluku assist now with the way that it uh, tracks compared to how it used to, 
but this just really feels like a team that I would expect either of the characters in the back to be primarily on point yeah, first. Yeah, I'm not used to seeing like the beam assist out of place like that, but I'm telling you right now, uh, one of the things that you will always see with Tyrant, it does not matter how bad or how good the character will be, Vegito's going nowhere. That man yes. loves that character. All right, has the C assist in the back. That's one of the benefits of Cooler's uh, beam assist being a C assist. You definitely get those easy pickups. And on a character oh, like no. Baby, where you want to be able to maximize those opportunities in these random spots, oh, no, works out great for him. We got Brad, a big Brad, pickup. Brad, oh, no. Don't let it be you. Version 1's happening right now. Posey is not going to single hit. Okay. okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay. No, there's right. 250 seconds left on the clock. The Perfects don't happen in Dragon Ball. I, hey, no, they do, especially when I'm up here. <laughs> there has been like five last year when I was here. <laughs> actually just got to a block 2H into nothing and Tyrant respected it. Finds a 2H. There you go. Finally. Uh, Posey, Posey starting to pick it up a little bit here. See what he can do in the corner. Reads the jump away. No, sir. All right. Hey, Posey answering right back. Absolutely should be a dead baby. Yes, and bringing the blue crew on point. So we're going to have the 21 assist in the back versus yes. Cooler Vegito. And now I think Cooler is going to be a little bit harder pressed without that baby assist in the back. I think having baby to sort of tech chase and pull them down from jump height is really important for Cooler. So, I mean, you only really have Vegito to try to cover that space. Yeah. It's great for pickup, but I don't know that it's like the ideal neutral assist choice here. No, nice ooh. up back. That was good. That was good calling out the command grab. So they switch. Was I like that Tyrant switches the order and brings in Vegito, getting this level three on the knockdown. And you're going to have the C assist in the yep. back after you play a little bit of neutral and get the lockdown. Gets the cross up. Posey wasn't ready. Uh, doesn't even need the assist to open you up. And he's got plenty to take care of here. He won't be able to build the bar. He needs to get the kill. Like we said before, that meter gain is one thing, but the reflect into the punish. Bro, they, are, they have been scrapping. Love to see it. Pose is going to go ahead and get the hard knockdown out here. Gonna spend that level three, absolutely. This might finally be the time where Tyrant pops Barking. He was very patient about it before. I don't know if he was willing to take the risk yet, but hey. Yep. Oh, yeah, there it is. That was almost a spark bait there, too, because Posey was not clipped by the uh, the sparking explosion, but I think maybe he wasn't ready to try to press the issue yeah. after. We do reset back to neutral. Tyrant's able to get that blue life back on that Vegito that he loves so much. Nice snipe on the anti-air. Oh, nice Ooh. snipe on the air throw! Get out of the sky, <laughs> my guy! Yo, high key, no joke. This is the best set we've had up here so far. Uh, as he proceeds to immediately drop it. <laughs> uh, still, this has been such a good game. I like that. I like that. Yeah, don't let him steal the turn. Don't let him steal the turn back from you. You were, you were in advantage. Shut that down immediately. All right, Tyrant playing it slow, recognizes that he only needs to respect you so much while you're waiting on an assist to come back. And you see every time Bluku assist is back on the table, Tyrant is like, worried. I'm immediately jumping. Ooh, finds the 2H. You wanted to bring Vegito in the back. Bro, I, bro, everybody in this building heard Kustix yell just a second ago. And he, for good reason, man, Posey is out here working. He only had one bar though, so he can't, he can't set up level three like he want, but he did he walk himself into the corner. Clip by the overhead, no, but he didn't believe Posey swings through the DR attempt after Tyrant was already playing on layer two, but Posey was smoking layer one. I'm telling you right now, if they make Tyrant come up here to have to commentate for Posey's position because Posey ends up beating him, I have to stand by and listen to all of it because right now, Posey is one round away from sending Tyrant out of this bracket. Imagine sending Jake to losers only to then lose to another commentator in loser's side. <laughs> Bro, who can some say, blood sport type who could say that they were double eliminated by commentators to avoid top 16? Okay. N nothing but Dragon Ball. This is actually hilarious, but yep. already started things off hot. Uh, I mean, hey, the cooler's been working just fine, but I think a big part of it earlier you, uh, you were mentioning, alluding to, the, like, losing out on Cooler or Baby, it feels like that's just such a big core to his engine that once he lost Baby before, it was kind of hard to rebound. No, I, I think you're exactly right. And here we're seeing, okay, Posey using this opportunity off of that errant hit with Goku Black to bring the blue coup in. I wonder, does Posey just prefer the neutral of Goku Black and then, you know, use the hit to bring in one of the other characters I for the matchup? So. I think he likes being able to build up that meter a little bit early and like the simplicity of uh, Goku Black and then swapping it out. And he's still got the beam, like you yeah. said before. So, like, it's almost like he, like every character available is just strong on point for him. It doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, I, I guess that's a way to play it. And, you know, it's, it's easy to forget. You know, we haven't seen Goku Black in so long that, you know, the game has changed so much. Having strong neutral and, like, less follow-through is not as drastic now as it yep. used to be. Oh, my Ooh. God! I had my shit covered! 
Yeah, you forgot, man. There's still a little bit left to go, and Posey's not, he's not fond of that, but he's not going to be too fond of the fact that he got caught anyways. He doesn't have enough bar to be able to take him out, so it's just going to be a big stall, but maybe he can drag this out for so long. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, he might have built it. No, no, it's going to be short. It's going to be short. 1-1-1 one, one, one will kill. It's Vegito. Oh, right. That is Vegito. Oh, never mind. Right, you are done. What an incredible job from Tyrant, too, to stall that whole thing out. Maximize combo, not letting him get away with that sparking. And now he's down sparking. Whole character is perfect position for Tyrant. Yeah, Tyrant even still having sparking of his own. Almost got a pick up there if that Vegito assist had been a little bit earlier. How? How? We take those. <laughs> All right, well, drop combos don't matter. To, oh, he was he was lined and ready. That was 3C anti-air, too, not even using the, the, the 2H. Yeah, it looks like Tyrant is kind of fed up with uh, that previous game, and now his is going to be in the worst possible position he can ask for. He's down two. He's got no sparking. Not one to say writing on the wall too early for most matches, but this is one of them where it feels like you got to start thinking about game three. No, absolutely. And now with Tyrant having Baby on point, you do have to worry about the possibility of a third assist in the back. If he wants to spend the resources, he can pull out that C assist. Posey, you spend all the bar you can yes, yep. right into the level three. The sooner you get Baby off the table, the better. Yeah, no, it's, uh, well, I don't think Tyrant has any reason to really blow it right now. He's been very patient in the corner, just like so. So save sparking for if for some reason Posey ends up getting it down close enough. He's going to get rid of one. Didn't have to spend the bar either. Yo, there's the pop-off. <laughs> hey, I tell you, man, look, no matter where you go, New York will always have your side. They will always be there ready to go. And uh, Posey, not out of it just yet. Tyrant having this lockdown in the corner, though, but his staggers uh, needs to find some space to let the cooler start to refresh. But it's a C assist, so Posey has so much time mm -hmm. to play this out as a one-on-one -on -one fight. Spends the vanish. Okay, C assist back on the table. I, Posey snipes it. Bro, Get back on cooldown. Right on cooldown, he immediately tried to press like, no, absolutely not. And uh, hey, hey, I don't remember the last time Tyrant won neutral. It's all oh, and blues. Uh, nothing really came of it. Nice tech. Tech. Hey, hey, wait oh, a minute. Oh, Barrier right. gets some bar back. I don't think the Tyrant is going to, oh my god, super dash into the stratosphere. And Posey just waiting his turn. Hey, Posey hey. has so much bar, Tyrant's not going to get a lot back. Thankfully at this spot, it is wrong to wait. Hey, wait a minute. We got a game. Posey is not out. He's about to OCB reverse on Tyrant potentially here. Because, you know, it's this, after this, it's if you hit me on block, I'm popping sparking. Because Absolutely. If, otherwise, you're dead. Like, he has the three bars already. Tyrant is dead to one mistake from Posey. This is crazy. No, no shot, no, no shot, no, no shot, no shot, no shot, right? No shot. Uh, you yeah, know what? I love I, I that, actually. That. I respect that. I was going to so say, much. I'm like, you know what? Actually, just Ross Bark. No, the Ross Bark actually puts Woo! Posey in a spot where Tyrant was already for the pickup. Are we going to be able to push this to go through the sparking healing? I don't think that we should. Goes into the level three, heal back the blue life. One mistake. One mistake in Posey, reverse OCVs on Tyrant right now. One oh, 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 God. DR. <laughs> oh, Oh my god, he's built different! HLC is built different! NY's built different! We are out here getting these dubs! Posey just got such a big reverse three on the Tyrant. He was in such a dominant position! Posey said, yo, chill, relax, bro. All right, game's not over. That game's not insane. over yet. Oh man, it's built different! That's crazy! And now he doesn't even get to cast his next block because he's in top 16. Damn, I didn't even think about that part. Yo. I swear, I, I need to find Tong. Like, Tong, please make, ty <laughs> make Tyrant cast next. Make him do it. So he has to sit here and watch Posey as he takes his spot. That was I, so, so funny. That, but, dude, you have kudos. Kudos to Posey for doing that. Because keeping your composure in a position yes. like that, being that far behind, it, that is not easy to do. Like, that is as a difficult position you could ask to be in. And he still got the job done. Yeah. Well, and I also think it was really clear that Posey was doing a great job of, like, recognizing, okay, what options do you have on the screen? The fact that, like, Tyrant was in that spot of needing to wait so long for the CSS cooldown to come back, and every time it was there, Posey was like, yeah, I get it. I know how you want to approach the CSS. I'm going to smack it out the way. Or, yeah, I'll block the beam, but I know it, that it's a, a strike throw mix up after, so I'm mm. ready for the tech. I'm ready <laughs> for that. I see the flash. I know you're glowing. <laughs> no, that, that's just that, bro. It's too early for me then. It's too early for this, man. <laughs> we just started the day, and my voice is going to be disappearing if this keeps up like that. What an incredible match, man. I can't, like, ah. Uh, well, 
We got we got another one. We got one more to go for the, twa the top 16 qualifying spots on the losing side. We got Iceman versus Nightmare Zen coming up. They have... Uh, they got some big shoes to fill because that I, no no joke as much bias as we had to how much fun it is to watch our boys up there that was quite literally the like one of the best matches we had the entire time of that yeah I think uh, I I think it's it's been a little I mean it's 10 a.m. pools right yeah. it's 10 a.m. play everybody's a, a little tired I am also a little tired I know we you were know, we, we were definitely up we we were up in, everybody uh, playing some catch up we we were we were fooling uh, but there's uh, <laughs> there's definitely there's people that came prepared you know we saw Lucar for their set was looking so, so strong. We saw Garlic Bread still yeah. still so comfortable that they're playing games with their opponent. Yeah. Even that when Fred like, came up and he was a little bit shaky at first, game yeah. two was like, nah, that, that's that's CEO champ Fred right there. Oh, excuse me, combo breaker champ right there. He yeah. was good. Like, uh, so it, it, a lot of people, like you said, they were, they were prepped, they were ready to go, but um, getting to see what we got to saw, that was fun. And uh, I, well, I can't wait to see what we got coming to next. This is looking like team button check uh, before we start things off, because if if we're seeing two freezes this late into it, I am genuinely shocked. Yeah. <laughs> but right. Well, then what I can do is while we're in the button check and give you all the update, because as you had said, we are very nearly at our top 16. We yeah. are very nearly at the conclusion of the top 32. Oh, top 16 in the winner's side looking like yeah. Levi versus Drac, Fred versus KSAC. Dragon Von Doom and Garlic Bread, and then Zane and Lucar. Yeah. So and then in the loser side, what Daniel do versus Punk, Posey, Justin at Law, Skeezer, Jake Ryan, and then we uh, this match is to get into the final spot with uh, Iceman versus Nightmares, uh, oh, Nightmares Zen, and then two time one. versus Shade. Yeah, will I be missed the that. last okay. 32 match. Okay, all right. So my fault, my fault. I, I I missed one. There is one more qualifier for top 16 after this, like you said, two time versus Shade. So we'll get into that. Uh, in a little bit too. Uh, well, I see a perfect team over there because we see a perfect cell. But honestly, this is as close to a mirror match as you could get. The only thing that was different was Labco and Cell. We saw base Vegeta and and Did they just random select and get destroyed Namek? They did. Are they gonna play it out? I mean, they're laughing. They're laughing a ton. I don't know if they're actually gonna play it out now. <laughs> he got that look like Rod now. <laughs> Let's see. I I don't think they're actually gonna play it out. But if they are. I appreciate you for the cinematics. Are you ready? Now that. Yeah, no, 100%. It <laughs> it's like of all of all possibilities, man. Uh, well, penalty, delay of game. Uh, yeah, uh, red flag on the play. Uh, I'm going to need you guys to uh, to switch to Janemba for, for the sake of uh, culture. Uh, so we got base Vegeta at 42 versus uh, base Vegeta and perfect 21. So as close as you can get to a mirror match. We haven't really seen, I, I mean, actually, it's like, there's four teams now I've seen with base Vegeta too, so. What's interesting is between the Perfect Cell and Lab Coat, they're both rocking C assist as well. Yeah, I mean, like, Perfect Tag's so good. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's. But it's intriguing. I feel like for Lab Coat, you can use Pizza Cutter Assist. It's yeah. so solid. The choice to be like, yeah, I'm gonna use a C assist in this spot is like, I would think that it's a very specific choice. Yeah, they want yeah. to be able to get in behind the beam. But now, you okay, we find the DR. I was going to say, the problem is, you had that, like, two really quick mix-ups, but now you're out of steam. I can only assume there's probably, like, a good route that he could take, too, with base Vegeta that's backed up behind that decision. So we'll see if it has anything to play into it later. But at the moment, both of them not really respecting that on get-ups. Like, nah, I'm, just, I'm up backing. I'm getting out of here. Not going to deal with that. But it's going to be Iceman who gets the first loops. And Iceman absolutely got the C. Ooh, oh. and the reset off the CSS too. So, okay. Iceman, uh, pretty dominant start uh, in in the mirror. But this, uh, look, I, I'm not going to lie. For at least one round, you always get a massive amount of bias out of me whenever I see Cell. So, I would like to see Nightmare Zen. Um, yeah, just just get, it, get a kill here. Just get it done. Make it two to two. <laughs> overhead works. Oh, wow. Iceman went to swing back after the overhead on hit. Was like, hey, I'm not respecting whatever you're going to bring to the table here. You get the pick up with the Majin 21 assist in the back. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure 1-3 definitely Yeah, I think 1-3 absolutely killed there. I'm kind of surprised he didn't spend it on it. Now instead he's got to take C assist and he's going to get walked right back over to the corner. I wouldn't be surprised to see Nightmare's end pop here because yeah. it's... You, you don't. Oh it actually gosh. doesn't even matter. He never got. He never got the knockdown. Iceman's seeming kind of cold right now because that is the second or third time that we have seen them with these uh, drop opportunities not going their way. Nightmares aren't going to cash out. One oh, still goes for one three. I think one one might have killed. I'm pretty sure uh, one, one one was looking like it was close enough. But hey, get, as long as you guarantee that the yeah. kill is down, I don't disrespect the idea. It's like hey, look, he's dead. 
I spent three, he's dead. Done. And also he ends up getting all the absorbs. That's too. also so, true. That might actually have been a little bit more of the play. He wanted to get all he wanted to get all the buffs. Late vanish coming out from Iceman. This is a close game. I mean, Nightmare's End still got Spark available. Iceman has been much better in Nooch so far. But you weren't wrong on the fact that he has dropped a couple of big situations. I think one of the differences is, right, you know, okay, actually, the C assist from both of them now off the table, and it's the, the nature of those C assists makes a slight difference in the way that they're going to approach each other in the neutral. Iceman does get the better of the 1v1 neutral situation. Please finish your plate. Yeah, that, all right, there you go. Cash it out, nice and simple, nice and clean, guarantee the KO. And uh, now Nightmare's in down two. Uh, and good job of Iceman playing around that because he had he had everything on deck. He had he had absorbed, he had a good amount of meter, even though he was staring down seven. He still played around it. But spark, yeah, I was about to say, you got a spark. You cannot afford to take that block swing again. Oh. Ooh, ha Thankfully, oh, that was, yeah, that was get so the wall close bounce to happy birthday. Oh my god. Level three. Look how much oh my god, look how much damage he does. Alright, where's he going? All right, we, all right, we know our blocks. Not getting caught by the rolling attack, but it doesn't matter. He ends up getting on the other side anyways. Yeah, managed to get the better of the scramble, and now has a little bit of limit break sparking still available to them. Iceman sitting at full health, but only has so much on the table. What's the mix going to be? Clips him with the 5L. That is going to equalize the life. In fact, I think Nightmare Zen is going to end up at the life lead as a result of this. Yes, just barely, but Iceman having the meter advantage and now sparking is gone, so Iceman just he just needs one opener, and he should be able to get to it, especially if it's a medium starter. So Nightmare Zen being very careful, very aware of 2M. Whoa. Oh, good reflex. There's even a 2L in the middle there. Oh, the slight delay on the super dash there. You saw Iceman tapping that 5L to try to, you know, space out a jump in limb. Nightmare Zen gonna be able to finish their plate here. Perfect attack right into the energy wave. One That's game on the board for Nightmare Zen. Excellent job right there. The biggest thing, really the only thing that was between you and Victory was dropping a combo. He did not let that happen. Nightmare Zen was able to get the job done, but man, that was actually an, an yet another very close match. That's what happens. Like when you get to that point of loser's bracket, everybody's kind of waking up. And we're also in that top scene, uh, 16 qualifier. All the ner all of the, most of the nerves have been gone. So it's been much closer. But it looks like, uh, looks like Iceman debating here. That feels yeah. like 142 that, uh, in that last match. Who are we gonna switch to? Still Majin 21, what are we uh, What are we gonna hover? Bro, just pick, just pick Cell for, for the people. Oh, actually, he's gonna Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> nah, it's the same thing, they were just thinking about it. It was close. But, um, I mean, we did see that CSS coming a little bit more often than I uh, might have expected, like you said, uh, you know, being able to go, like, being able to spin the win, it still works. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it, but it felt like he enjoys the opener of that a lot more. Yeah, I think part of the difference is uh, the way that it affects the cadence of both of these teams, right? Uh, Iceman gets that C assist to be able to force the mix up, but then if they are wrong, they run out of steam. Versus Nightmare Zen uh, using the Android 21 as the primary neutral assist means that they are able to, you know, have the ability to force their will on the neutral a little bit more frequently. Uh, well, Nightmare Zen already uh, picking up right where he left off and already chucking him for half his health. Oh, and the reflect bait too. Last time he up backed out of that two times, so figured maybe he might try to press. And, I, and Nightmare Zen not only saw through that, but he instantly got rid of the Vegeta. Okay, we are going for 1-1. One, one. Yep, bringing the Majin 21 back on point. They, I mean, you know what? I don't hate this choice, because they were obviously comfortable in the mirror previously. Yep. I mean, like... We've already seen we've already seen uh, a match twenty one get a reverse uh, three earlier. She still gets it. She's still just just as uh, reliable as always. So Iceman still has plenty of opportunities with uh, with forty two. But that's oh. a, oh, a, rare, a rare mistake from Nightmare Zen, and you better cash out on that. Absolutely take advantage of that every time. He's gonna box his way out. He's gonna get the side switch. Oh, just ends up getting the knockdown off C assist. Oh, through the scramble, Nightmare Zen defensively calls Cell C, gets the knockdown, gets the starter for them here. We've got plenty of bar. This is a dead 21. Yeah, I mean, we may not see we may not see Cell nearly as much as we used to. Oh, you're not dead? Oh, wow, that was super close. Yep. Oh, I'm so surprised he didn't just chill. But Whoa. hey, hindsight 2020, right? He's going to get the follow-up anyways, catches him not ready for the Magic 21 uh, assist. And, uh, Iceman's going to pop, yeah? I think so. 
I think you have to. Oh, actually, never mind. Wow. Just flex out. But I still think you need a pop, though. Like, you have no health available on, on Majin, and Labco is, is hovering. But hey, maybe he saves it to try and get a bunch of damage. I don't know, but Iceman's still holding on. Cash out your bar. You're at nearly seven bars. Spend some money. Why, bro? The, what is... Bro, the, it's not like there's a clearance sale. It's expensive, bro. Spend the cash. Don't hold on to the bank account. You're trying to flex, but you window shopping. What are you doing? And that windows is breaking. That house is crumbling. A house made of glass right now because he's got nothing but boots and ass, man. Shout out to Yikes. This is looking not too good for Iceman. I don't know why he didn't uh, use it, but now even if you use it, you're dead. I think you might have to go over to the vendors and make sure your stick is working properly at this point. It, it doesn't make any sense to hang on to it. Iceman still hasn't popped Spark. I mean, at this point, you're not gonna, I guess you defensively pop Spark the second you block something, or you just die, just, like, just die with everything. You had seven bar, you had Spark. I, I mean, all right. You know what, hey. I guess the only way to stay rich is to actually never spend your money. So, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's getting, he's gonna be eliminated, but, Credit score on this. No, nah, I don't know. I don't. What the That's hell are you not. doing, bro? I, I tried. I tried. I tried. I don't know what you're no. doing, man. There's, no, you got to no spend reason. money to make there's money. There's no reason. Yep. Yeah. Sad truth, actually. <laughs> I don't know what. If more people knew that, we would uh, we would be in a much better world. <laughs> Economics, you see, is about the circulation of finances. Oh, it's not. Oh, you're, are you saying trickle down doesn't work? I'm saying. Look, what? I am saying that. He's not gonna get to take that bar or that spark with him. Yeah, no, the the IRS came for that. That <laughs> that is that is done. The IRS, <laughs> it's just Tong comes over and says, like, "Give me your damn controller." But uh, well, one. Thank you, you for donating this to CEO. <laughs> Actually, it would be Jabali who takes it instead, actually. Oh, he would. He would. He absolutely would. And, uh, well, we saw. Now, we don't mean to throw so much shade, but we do have shade coming up next. And uh, it's not once, but twice are we going to do this because it's two time. Yep. We got two time for this shade. They're going to be making their way back to the stage in a moment. It's going to be the final, this time, I, may, I yes. mean it, final qualifying spot for a loser side of top 16. That will determine our whole top 16. Well, actually, while we're prepping, I think you have the bracket open. Yeah, right? I already have the bracket open. So, uh, with. Hold on, bear with me as it loads up. Yes, with Nightmare Zen able to take that, the winner of this moves on to play Nightmare Zen. And yeah, as we had gone through the list previously, what Daniel do versus Punk, Posey versus Justin at Law, and Skeezer versus Jake Ryan is the loser's side of yep. top 16. Levi and Drac, Legendary Pride and K-Sack, Dragon, Von Doom, and Garlic Bread, and Zane and Lucar all there up on the winner's side. I'm a little upset we didn't get to see Levi because uh, we don't see have to see Kid Buu, like, pretty much at all. Uh, and, right, and I, I feel like... His Kid Buu was putting in work yesterday. It's funny that like the, the meme around Kid Buu was like, oh, okay, they've done it. They finally nerfed Kid Buu to best character in the game for like a very long <laughs> that was time. was like three seasons. <laughs> for like a very long time. And then it was just, I think that's another character where like when they made the Z change uh, adjustment, suddenly there were all these other characters who was like, oh, my characters all synergized together yeah. way better. And suddenly the fact that Kid Buu on his own is such a strong vessel matters a little bit less because with the way you can structure your team and more dynamically change what character you have on point, suddenly it's a lot easier to accommodate for individual weaknesses in neutral or, you know, having weak Oki. And Kid Buu being a really good version of playing a lot of different things in the game suddenly starts to matter a little yeah. bit less. We're not seeing team four and a half men really anymore. We're not seeing, you know, double fusions with 17, people trying to replicate the success. You can't do that because they, just, they got cooked. And uh, so I think what I'm saying is bring back double level one super meta. You know what, actually, that was, I, that was when I was the best at playing. So yes, let's do that. <laughs> Biasly, let's bring it back. Uh, I miss doing double level ones. But um, that was a very different era. Uh, and hey, the game has gone through so many different iterations with uh, the patches. And we, again, we, st we still have no clue what the next one might be. I don't think it's going to be nearly as drastic as the changes like what we saw with this one, uh, with the beams and everything. But there's been a very specific direction this game has been going, and it's more aggressive uh, from what we've been seeing. So uh, I'm curious to see if that's not the play that they do on the last one, and maybe a, uh, a few more damage changes here and there. But so far from what we've been seeing, the uniqueness of teams has been very high compared to all the double fusions we saw before. So yeah. it has, the, the patch has done the trick. Yeah, and I think I'm going to be really intrigued to see two times play in this different set, right? Because obviously we got to see two times play against Garlic Bread, but I think they really got bulldozed a little bit. Garlic Bread, the way that between Baby, uh, just the way Baby uniquely controls the screen combined with their masterful utilization of Ginyu Force yep. as an assist engine, 
It was just really hard to contend with. And I, I am not familiar with Shade, but I imagine that it is going to be a, yes, and here we are. Uh, Okay. This multiple times we've seen this shell too. Uh, we're seeing a lot of, I mean, we just, right last game, we were seeing a whole lot of base Vegeta in Android 21, people being really comfortable with that. I mean, this is definitely a successful pick in the uh, in the past, and I think that yeah. it's one of those things where, like, hey, let's go back down the list of what was top tiers before. You've alluded to that a couple times throughout the day, and it's been kind of true. Uh, and then backing up with Krillin, I mean, like, team lockdown on the other side. Yeah. But two times has by far and away probably the most unique team of uh, people we've watched. But he did switch the Krillin position. He now has Roshi as the uh, the anchor instead. That is intriguing. I think his his Roshi was doing a lot of work. When we watched them play earlier, really their Beerus did nothing. And okay, and that is well, uh, looking <laughs> like a, a rerun a we've little bit. This movie. I know how this one ends. <laughs> well, let's see if the Nick Beerus Cage, can follow Nick do something. Nick Cage has John Travolta's face. Well, imagine Nick Cage what acting as Beerus, man. Oh, oh my God. God! I don't know you doing that. To, uh, you saying that now? I can only see it. It's like <laughs> Nick Cage saying Hakai. <laughs> that should be so damn funny. But uh, he's gonna go ahead and exit, uh, removing himself from the picture. And uh, well, hey, sometimes stare downs don't work in your favor. And Shade not looking too happy about that. It's two time. He's been keeping his turn for a while, and he is chunking. All right, throwing the Senzu beam. There is two times. Oh, Shade actually ends up. Uh, picking up as so well the as their sparking coming back. The one time on stream so far that you didn't want your opponent to eat. Right. <laughs> <Sensu beam. laughs> All right, sparking now off the table for both players, and Shade has this lockdown in the corner. One, oh, just one three, because we want the mix up after this. Yeah, good luck seeing where he's going. Uh, not, we're not even going to deal with that. Instant reflect gets on out of there. Oh. I Time is, says my JH is better than your 5M. It's a good chunk too. He has my, he has 21's assist available, so he's gonna still chunk for half here potentially. Actually, so he's just keeping it for block pressure. Yeah, the Beerus assist oh, managed had, to work as like a pseudo anti here. I was looking at the wrong Krillin. Bro, I'm still. I. How do we get not one but two back to back when we get uh like a Krillin shows up and it was mirrors like both 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 times we've seen it back to back, but two time. Hey, Beerus finally did something. Yeah, managed to uh, close the loop there to finish off the Krillin. That extra layer of rock lets two times start to run their offense. Now what's it gonna be? Finds the MC low. Finally, two times able to use that engine behind them. It's it's so clear that that's what they want yeah. for this shell, right? To be able to embed the mix-ups behind the beam and then use the rock lockdown in sort of a scrambly situation yeah. to you know give them the frame advantage to start to run their offense. Speaking and they too, finally get to do it. Yeah, now he's got it. Now he's in shade tattoo. Oh, he goes for it for a third time. I was about to say, he went for lows twice in a row. It's like, you're not gonna think I'm gonna do it again, are you? And he went for it a third time. This he time. Tried. And Shade is going to lose base Vegeta. Two time is not lost a single character yet. We've already been in this position before, so it does bear repeating. 21 is fully capable of making a uh, a complete comeback, but we haven't really seen Shade. And hey, even, regardless of changes or not to that 2M, it's still such a good, fast sneak up tool. There's no shot you survive this because he's not dropping that. Akai is going to get it done. We'll be seeing you, and that is game number one going to two times. Yeah, that was a, a much stronger performance. The Beerus struggled a little bit in the beginning, but I think once the scrambles sort of started to go his way once they got that first character death and the, the Krillin mirror that happened, they got the better of it. Then they were able to reform their shell. And maybe the struggle here is that they, that two times struggles to play into Krillin. Yeah. Maybe that's the thing, because that was a big problem in the garlic bread matchup as well. I, I, don't, I don't know who yelled it. Is it? Oh, it's Posey. Posey. It's Posey. I was like, why did two times just laugh? And bro, it, it instantly Posey just smacking the, like the floor. It's like, bro, don't you throw. Don't you throw, you got this. Um, we got another stall of decision to end. Oh, yeah, we're um, bringing yeah. back Z Brawley. We've seen this team a couple of times today. Yep. Base Jita, 21, Z Brawley. It's, uh, it's been a pretty consistent theme of people's changing the way they've been going, like changing up their teams. We're either seeing Maja 21 back at people's teams, we're seeing Krillins over the past few, and we're seeing a lot of Z Brawley. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm here for it. I think that it's been working pretty well. Of course, I got a lot of bias to seeing Z Broly back on the screen, of course. But uh, it's it's just, it, we're not watching the same thing over and over again. We're seeing a lot of different change-ups from everybody's teams. Yeah. Now, given that 
you know, I, I sort of had that read of maybe two times struggle is playing against Krillin Assist. Now that Krillin Assist is off the table, I'm going to be curious to see how this goes. Yep. Yeah, they, they already seem like they're a little bit more comfortable in neutral because I think they're comfortable playing around fireballs. It's like, yep. yeah, whatever, I see the fireball assist. It's fine. The fact that Krillin and you works watch as an... <laughs> I was going to say, you got to watch out for that anytime too, because not only did they the jump up, but it's so quick to sneak underneath. And uh, now you got to watch. Now you got to deal with Orb Mix. Uh, is he going to build it? No, I was kidding. If he built the third one, maybe different. But yeah. I like the early pop. I think he just... Base Vegeta, for him, is his best. It hasn't been able to work consistently, but for him, that's his best. He wants to keep him, keep him around. Yeah, he uses the safe Z change, the safe DHC to try to bring the Krillin in, keep the Beerus safe. Shade is able to get a hit here for them, but they've invested Spark already. Raw 5L start, so that's going to be kind of limiting on the damage because of the scaling. Yep, we got our re-jumps too. We're going to go get level 3. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see two times pop here as well because the Krillin yeah. has been a huge part of his kit. Uh, he wanted to, he wanted to saw it out. He wanted to delay, but he's going to catch. Oh, no, that's oh. a... It's an opportunity wow. to get out, and he's keeping him on board too, but full Jesus. screen beam. Yeah, you, we're going to active switch to Beerus as soon as we are able. We want that blue light back. Oh my god, please finish your plate, my son. Oh my god, he had so many opportunities to kill him. He finally catches him on a mistake, but yeah, I agree. I think he was looking for the active switch and he just couldn't finish it, and now he's lacking on that, so now he's just stuck with the beam, which still it's beam, but you don't have that same lockdown. Yeah, oh, managing to snipe underneath the base Vegeta assist in the back, but clipped out by the 5H, using that reversal once again, is not interested in making a passive defensive decisions here is two times. I mean, that's a, good, that's a smart man. <laughs> Try, they're trying to lock him down, keep him stuck, but he's going to be able to go ahead and switch out 21, so he's going to get all that blue health back. And uh, two times, he's not res he is not respecting any no. 5L starters, like not once. All right, right into the level three. Just a taste. Loading up the rest of our special moves. This is such a strong position for Shade to be in. And yeah, two times, I don't. This is, again, I know I know we said it before. I mean, last game, we just saw it. Uh, as Beerus actually walks right by us. Uh, <laughs> but everybody who knows the, uh, the cosplayer for Beerus, yeah, she's walking around right now. Fantastic. But right now, uh, not looking too hot for Beerus as uh, not only is Sparking not popped yet, but I think we're looking to game three. Uh, I, I, it's just one of those moments like, all right, Think about what happened. Think about what you need to do. Oh, because, the tech yeah. chase into the DR. Yeah, this is a game three situation. And you know what? Here's what I think you got to do is two times. Please make decisions to save your characters. You died with Spark. You had that chance where you could have. There were spots where you could have tried to bring that Krillin out, yep. cycle your team back around, stabilize into a healthier position, and you didn't do it. You held it out. I get that trying to switch can feel really scary because people can snipe it out, but I think you need to make those calls. Nice yep. 5L snipe, but you're smoked out in the scramble here as Shade draws first blood. Uh, Shade is uh, definitely woken up, definitely looking a lot better. Let's start things off there. And good respect. And two times, that time, you know what? Like you said, Reserving the idea of not letting your characters go down early. He didn't want to get too touched, but it doesn't even matter because Shade chased him down. Right, right into level three. I mean, at this point, you know, two times in Sparking. Sparking's about to run out, actually, so you can front load that damage easily. Well, and I was going to say what you actually want is the Oki so you can finish your play after. Planning Beerus in super where he belongs. Z cannon forever. Again, with that change now too, even if he didn't have enough bars that close, you could still combo off after that now. So it's a very different route. This Broly change has been absolutely immaculate away from trying to run that Krillin mirror that he had before. All right, and here we see two times on that <laughs> shell of Roshi Krillin. We saw it doing some work when they played previously. The Beerus has had those issues, but I think this is a tough hill to climb. Thankfully, we are able to get this first touch. Yep, cashing out the level three. What's yeah. the mix-up going to be after? Is I, Shade going to pop? I think, I think, I think pop. you pop. I think he, he's been very, yeah, yep. he, he's revealed his hand early on that he's not willing to take the mixes. And honestly, with how well he's been playing, I don't blame him at all. Bring him back down. I'm kind of surprised he decided to commit to that. It doesn't even matter, though, because it's still his turn regardless. Shade is actually having a field day and there's that new route again you get to walk him right back over to the corner cash out level or not one three. Oh yeah that's true I, I completely forgot about how far range that we got on android 21 so that excuse me mod 21 so gets up he finally gets away from something but brad this is a hard sell yeah uh, i'm an eternal optimist 
he does, he's, there's hope. Not the if you're dropping leading. your plate. Oh my god, hey. Krillin covers the back, Roshi covers the front. Hey, there's, this is gonna be a dead character. Hope oh, okay. Deck. I like this switch too. Bring, yes. bring in the much healthier character. You have the beam assist available to you. We, we do have a game all of a sudden. And the mobility that Krillin has, I think, can do a decent job of contending with the way that base Vegeta wants to play neutral. Yeah, you got flip kicks available too. You got a lot, but he is going to get caught air to air, so he's going to go have to hold that. Okay, we're just going for, like, tech chases. We didn't have a whole lot of resources to commit. The Roshi beam covers the rocket kicks, and now two times very close to taking the lead. Yeah, that's not happening unless he switches out too. And you talked about before the mobility and the mixes, and he's not respected. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stage nerves. Shade crumbling a little bit here. Two time is woken up. I don't know if it's Cozy and them cheering him on in the back, but he is he is completely different than what we saw at the start. All right, we see the guard cancel come out from Shade to try to make something happen. This has been the problem, man. Him. The Broly has absolutely been the problem for two times, and he has not been able to solve it yet. Cursed ass super dash. That's not the, unfortunately, Shade was at jump height, so the Vanish whiffs as Shade falls down. Please finish your plate. One, one will be enough to do it. It is just Roshi left against right. Base Vegeta and Z Brawly for the last top 16 spot in Dragon Ball Fighters. Can the veteran himself get it done? This man has seen many a years and many problems, but he still has a lot of experience. I don't know if he's going to be able to get it done, but right now, banishing himself back in the corner, banish, a guard cancels his way out. Oh, oh catches two! Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. This is not over. We got a one-to-one -one situation here. Last qualifying spot for top 16. Put him, cap it off. One more to go, Brad. I, I don't think two times has the bar to one touch. I think you need no. a, a, an ideal medium starter for this to be a one touch. Oh, oh no! The crowd is into it, but he doesn't get a follow up. Shade just needs one mistake. Vanishes, just but block. you can't get anything else. Just block it. Do not. Oh, 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 oh. Two times shuts it down, and he gets it done to pop off, and he runs away. He's got the boys ready for him. Shade is gonna have to sit there and hold that. Shade what? gets Shade thrown at him. He had the hand there up it is, already. There it is. Okay, there we go. Oh my God. <laughs> well done, well done. What a way to close it out too, because honestly, like, it's one thing to see someone get washed. It's another thing to see someone make a comeback. And sometimes the stress of the stage is getting to you. And I think that was happening a little bit to Shade and two times picked it up exactly when it needed to happen. Yeah. His boys are right there amping it up and he's gonna be our last qualifying position for top 16. What a way to close out the block. What a way to close out top 32. The Roshi comeback. After, I mean, two times, I'm glad that they got to have that performance yeah. after the set with garlic bread and how that was looking. To be able to come back, like, what a way to reset your nerves going into top 16. Yeah. To have that tight of a performance. And yes, we keep alluding to top 16. That is going to be coming at you. I believe it is the next block. I think yes, we're, going, it, we're going right into yes, it. Yes, yeah. it is. So we're going to be going to a very short break momentarily where we get to find out who's joining Acoustics because Posey's currently in top 16. So one of them is going to join him momentarily. But right now, we're going to take that short break again. Do not go anywhere. We got a lot more action still going on today as me and Brad are going to exit. We got top 16 of Dragon Ball Fighters coming up next. Uh. All right, well, thank you so much for your patience. We are back with Top 16 Dragon Ball Fighters in action coming at you right now due to a, uh, a fortunate turn of events. If you're Posey, uh, Posey made Top 16, so he can't commentate. So they let your boy on here with acoustics. My name's Lennox, and, of course, you already know this guy to the right. You've seen him. If you watch Dragon Ball any amount of time, you know who acoustics is. Good to see you, my guy. What's up, what's up, Lennox? Happy to be here. Yeah, I noticed I'm a little bit out of breath, but don't even worry about that. We just burning some Move calories. Past it. We just burning some calories out in Daytona, but we about to get the calories back because there's some garlic bread on the plate tonight, and we got going against Dragon Ball Doom in our top 16 for Dragon Ball Fighters. You know what's crazy? What's up? Like three of our commentators are in top 16 <laughs> right now. Absolutely ruining. Who? Posey, Jake, and who else? And Tyrant. Oh, we Tyrant too. How did I forget about Tyrant, bro? Yeah, oh yeah. my God. Oh yeah, you might you might be getting some <laughs> extra work today. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they might tap you for top eight, baby. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Boy, listen, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking, right. of, speaking of top eight, yeah. I'll be honest with you. What's Gar up? Garlic Bread is making top eight for you. Yeah? His, okay. team is, his team is gotten buffed by the batch. Yes. I'm not sure if you saw his match yesterday. I missed it, unfortunately. If you look back at it, I think it's the most egregious match, right? 
Someone got swung on today. I think they should have swung on Garlic Bread yesterday. Okay, it, okay. He was giving the, the opponent the Krillin, the Krillin Senzu B yep. so he could continue trolling them. Oh, God. But, oh, he, no. They were down to one character. He was oh. like, oh, we're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just, He's like, no, no, no. There's another. There's some more cool stuff I can do to you. Yeah. Just eat the Senzu B. So I got some setups I got to practice. Like, he, like he I need you to stay out, alive. He threw it out, back dash full screen, said, pick it up. <laughs> pick up the Senzu B. I'm not I, I wish I had the confidence to do that in any game I play, bro. Ridiculous. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Um, Dragon Von Doom, though, uh, also got a, got an interesting team for sure. Blue uh, Blue Vegeta got some uh, some buffs recently. Uh, a lot of people talking about him, but this is we, we actually got a couple of my favorite. Some, fans, some is up for statement right now. But speaking of another character that got buffed, it's your boy Baby and Ginyu, yeah, and it's Okie Doki Tom. Set him up. That's Anton Spark. <laughs> Oh my, he could have took the happy birthday, but wanted to reset. Oh no, now Dragon Ball Doom is about to be out of that spark too. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Lance Command grab, though, we good. Nice, this is going to be a good bit of damage, especially with the big bang changes. And he can get a side range plant right there from the EX setup. Yeah. Get a safe jump. Oh yeah, we're sparking. Ah! <laughs> Yo, you got caught pressing. We got the re-jump routes, too. And now it's getting you time in the corner once again. Yo, look at that meter. We're topped off, baby. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah, yeah. Right. Charge it up. Bow. And then. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Yo, I was ready for, like, okay, DHC in. No, oh, no big no, deal. No, no, doesn't need it. I'm he, saving that meter. He, was, he wasn't going to block because the charge 5 inch was low. And then he had to guess because he could have pulled from the corner. Oh, God. That is so messed up. Look, this look, is look. Ah! <laughs> Oh my goodness, one of my boys back home plays Ginyu and is like, yo, I gotta try this character again. Bro, this, this character sick. right now is nonsense. Absolutely. Yo, yep. yeah, what do you do there? Like, the raccoon just so, covers everything? So like, you, have, you have to check uh, the, the DR, or you jump, but if you jump and block the beam, they're still plus. Yeah. So it's like, and you gotta, you gotta guess again. There's smoke. And then if they force you to block gold at the beginning, you don't even have time to jump. So it really is like either hold the mix or actually take the dragon run. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, and already dragon ball. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say down to the last character. Oh, all right, there we go. Signs of life. Seven bars. What you gonna do with it? You gotta spend a level three, right? Oh, yep, right yeah, there. Yeah. And then the EX. Into, mm, why didn't you just EX into level three? That would have killed. I mean, this is going to kill anyone. Yeah, I was going to say, that's that's still probably dead. Might have a sliver left, but I think that's dead. I think no, you're no, right. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Limit yeah. You're the expert. Rolling. You're the expert. That's true. That's true. <laughs> limit limit break Rolly, especially with the new routes that he have, massive damage. He's going to kill you. He's going to kill. As if he didn't have massive damage before, am I right? Yeah. He needs it. Oh, oh, that was clean. Garlic bread with the reactionary 2H. Oh, look at that. Re-jump. Oh, drops a loop, though. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you're still stuck in the corner. Oh, and that's it right there. Six bars, two characters left. Level one. Oh, no, probably doesn't even need it. Oh, he's got a monkey. Yeah. I hate children. <laughs> I hate children. Don't let children play video games anymore. We're True. Done. Video games were a mistake, and, and we need to keep them away from our kids. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> just like that, like I said, like I called, uh, Garlic Bird is going to take game one. Yeah. Pretty strong, too. That was that was pretty dominant. Like, you were not joking. I, I think right now Garlic Bread is absolutely the favorite to just win this. It's it's looking like it, and it's hard to argue with that. We didn't even see the Krillin. Um, we didn't even get to see any Sensu Bean shenanigans. Yeah. That was all Baby and Ginyu. Mm -hmm. Look at that. He, he's taking this a bit more serious. So he's like, I won't do the Sensu Bean shenanigans, <laughs> but I'll still ruin someone's day. <laughs> most definitely. Most definitely. Um, so this is to get into top eight, of course. Um, we are on winner's side, and we're going back to character select. So Dragon Von Doom has been playing this game for basically as long as it's been out, so it doesn't surprise me. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. This is an interesting team. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. All right. He has the, he has the one nap and two Vegeta team. Let's see. Interesting. Uh, this is this is uh, Team Take Over the Earth right here. Mm -hmm. I That's, love it. Absolutely. So I will say about this team, this team does – it's way more stronger than it used to be, yep. um, especially with the changes they gave to Super Saiyan Vegeta recently. Mm -hmm. So now out of the two, uh, the two, three, six S series of consecutive key blasts, he can cancel in the DP and That's any right. other special. Yep. And he can cancel in the Super Dash, which actually means he's almost like near approachable in the air. Yes. Like you, you have to reaction test your opponent if you want to Super Dash it now, because now it's not a high committal option. Yeah. Which might be kind of what he needs against me. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Off to hey, off to a better start. Oh, uh, but that's yeah. Now you're back in the blood there. Don't worry, you're a real commentator. The fact that it happened the minute you said it. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, and uh, now there's no gap in that anymore. 
meaning you can't DP out that like you used to. Oh my god. Scary whiff of the 2H right there. And still not attacking these DRs. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be a problem. Level three Oki? Yep. Well, I have to do a little bit of loop. What's my favorite sir? Oh my god. That's so sick. I love this character, bro. No, not going for it. Nope. <laughs> That's anti-spark. Come on, brother. Once again, Dragon Von Doom losing that spark on the very first character. And you're still probably going to lose this cat. That's going to burn the time. Mm -hmm. Level one. No. Yeah, OK. Yeah. All right. That scared me. Do it to a little dash forward just to get a slight lead. Yeah. Four amount of meter. And level one. Uh. And then level two. You didn't even need to do level two. All right. You got it. Styling. Styling. You called it out earlier. Like, garlic bread? No styling a little bit. No big deal. Oh, no. Right now, Dragon Ball <laughs> doing stuff with two characters. No spark. Yeah, it just looks dark. <laughs> I'm being real Yeah. Sure. I mean, the Nappa, Nappa's definitely a character that uh, once they get the blender going, yo, that was so sick. It's a right air dash to the overhead. You got you to gotta, you gotta put the helmet on or something oh, to cover that bald head of yours. No, nah, bro, the head is open. That's the, it. The head is open, and it's not the head we want right now. Is that a 2M starter, too? Is that yes. what I saw? Yep. Oh, oh it, goodness. This is gone. I mean, look at the damage. That says it all right there. <laughs> oh, don't get perfect. I'm not here in top Please. Uh, Please, not here. Uh, if Garlic Break gets a 2M, he will die. Okay, so we got a little oh bit of chip God. damage. Uh, all right. You know what? Chip damage. We'll take chip damage. We're gonna take chip damage today. Take chip damage. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah, here we go, here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, got him. Ooh, okay. Oh, did confirm off that, and we're still dropping combo. Yeah, this little hit right there. Um, yeah, that's no. Nope. Oh, uh, the one, spark mix. One side and one side. Oh my. <laughs> Neutral yeah. jump rock. Do you like the mix? Oh, okay. Oh. You know what? I respect it. I'm tired of your shenanigans. Sometimes you got to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Dragon Von Doom still has a long way to go, especially when uh, Garlic Bread. Next hit will kill for Garlic Bread. You got seven meters. Ooh, nice. Good confirm. Going to be able to get a wall bounce, too. Nice. An advantage. DR. Get your sliding knockdown. Didn't have enough for a level three. Oh, okay. Kind of going for the uh, the whiff throw tech there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hoping he would jump right there. Oh, my. He dragged him out of the EX after image because it is an airborne move, so the anti-air grab does work. Oh, he's yeah. trying to press a button. Yeah, uh, there it is. Um, got, to, got to scale a little bit because of the auto combo, but honestly, you're, you're still dead here. It doesn't matter. Level one into level three. There it is. All right. So Garlic Bread is going to be the first person moving on to top eight. Going out over Dragon Von Doom. Dragon Von Doom, we're going to see him again in Losers. Still got another chance. He's like, he's like you're not too bad here. The Kotsky would like, to jo would like you to join us. <laughs> We'd love to have you. We'd love to have you on the team. Get in here. Just get in here. We'd like, we like to get him young. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I know. That was, that, was, that was bad even for me. We're going to move past it, though, because we got some more games coming right at you. Um, There's a little bit of Smash player thrown in you. <laughs> I've, I've never been accused of being a Smash player before. Damn, that's crazy. Oh uh, no, that's that's over there. Actually, we're uh, we're we're gonna keep it wholesome over here for for, course, for the rest of, of them. Yeah, you know, family stream, right? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm family man. I'm, 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 I love families, especially single moms. Anyway, next up we got <laughs> Levi versus Jack. Coming up. <laughs> so <laughs> these these two other cats are. We, I mean, we've, how many times have we seen Drac, right? Oh, Offline, yeah. like, m million times. We, we know who Drac is. Um, mm -hmm. Levy I'm not quite as familiar with, but I know that name. Um, talk to me a little bit about what we're, we're going to expect uh, from Levy. So, from Levy, you're going to... To be honestly, I didn't know much about Levy before coming into this tournament. Mm. Uh, but he's also pretty strong showings, you know. Nothing... To me, at least, nothing extremely outstandish, you know. But uh, clearly strong enough to get to top 16. Yeah. What, is that a Miles Tail Pro ride? Production, show the hat. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's. That, that is what it looks like. That is, uh, that, that is, is a tails hat. That All is right. Miles Terrell per hour. There he is. All right. That's, uh, that's a choice right there. I've never seen that before. I'm not gonna lie. All right. All right. My man's got it. Hey, you know what? If if it works, it works. I'm no, no judgment. You know what I'm saying? Um, Drac did. Uh, oh, Drac two old skeezer. Damn. All right. Oh, he did <laughs> two old skeezer. So yeah, that's skeezer okay. like obviously. Skeezer's is another cat. Like if you've been watching Dragon Ball yeah, all the last couple been, years, you know Skeezer. Again, Skeezer is one of our OGs. Yeah, uh, one of the earliest Beerus players as well. Mm. So now he's here while this cat is like <laughs> S tier. <so. laughs> <laughs> yeah, they say season one anymore. And Beerus, uh, Beerus definitely has some sauce now. But Beerus has had sauce for a while. Beerus has always had sauce, so, but yeah. now they, I don't know why they 
did what they did with this character. He was also buffed recently. Yep. His 2M is now assist and projectile involved. Uh, what? Yeah. How did I miss that change? What the hell? Oh, yeah. So so now when he does the long, mind you, this, this normal is like 75% of the screen. Yeah. So he'll just go down, hit it, and then like it, it becomes the, the invulnerability starts, I think, at like frame seven. Or something. So it's like, so like you just call out assist calls and just like, damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. It's like, wow. And they they shot my boy Vegito and they left out him. Uh, listen, wow, wow. Vegito, Vegito didn't really get shot. He got a <laughs> slap on the wrist. Like, all right, you can't build meter. Oh, oh yo, yeah. Uh, Fancy Blast is still what it is. Five M <laughs> is still what it is. Yep. JS is still what it is. You, you Vegito players would be fine. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I, I do about Vegito a lot, but yeah. like, yeah, it's I don't know. That, I don't think that character's ever been like so high truly, even even in the uh, the early days. Yeah, even in season two, like when it, he was actually really good during the double Superman. Oh he, hell yeah, yeah. Him and Gotenks, that was my team. Yeah. That, that joint was so cheap. Yeah, that was. I don't know why they allowed that, but it's fine. Bring back double Superman. You know what? Just let everything <laughs> that can happen happen. Just yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, just let it rock. Let it rock. Let them cook. Let him cook. Um, bring back Vegito's meter gain, too, from nah, season one, too. You know, relax. just that, those those five S loops in the corner. Relax. Oh, man. Relax. That was that was my battery. All right. <laughs> I'm happy to get rid of you guys here. <laughs> All right. So we should be getting into this in just a moment here. Um, I'm, I don't know. I think I think Drac's got our – so if Drac – oh, no. So if Drac wins this, they're going to have to face off. Whoever wins this is going to have to face off against the winner, KSAC, Legendary Brad. Which we should be seeing. I think. Okay, that's our that's our game next. Um, that you're very excited for that one. So whoever wins this plays against legendary friends. All right. You know, I wasn't gonna say it exactly like that, but you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's 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 I mean, what right, I was also all, thinking. All time, this isn't the strongest form of Pred. This is Pred off of unemployment. Now that multiverses servers oh, are down. Oh, that yo, I hadn't considered the multiverses <laughs> tech. That's true. That's true. He, he was prominent two v two player with K seven for a while. You know what I'm saying? So we, we got to see if he still got it in him. I mean, it's it's Pred. I, I like, dude's been so good at this yeah. game for so long. It's like, long. I'll be honest, sometimes it's like riding a bike. You know yes. I mean? You never truly forget how to play this game. Exactly. You get a little warm up going in between uh, Street Fighter 6 sessions. You good. You good. Okay. Track out here with the Sunny D jeering. Oh, no, you love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Sunny jeering is so gross color. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah, a choice for sure. All right, and we get to see some kid boo action, which is uh, always a, uh, always, uh, always something, you know, depending on your your choices on kid boo. Um, but let me, uh, let me off to an early lead here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, right there. And Jaren, another character who somehow managed to get buffed in this match too. As you see, we got the Overwatch back, but they said buff everyone. Just, just wow! Just buffs, yeah. What a CSS interaction between both of them. I didn't realize both of these guys really have CSS. Yo, nobody is taking DRs today. Oh, no, no. Oh, Un my goodness. Untackable. Untackable indeed. Um, now we're going to get some uh, the, the classic level three, if you will. All right, all right. Quick question. Is he going to go high or is he going to go high? He's going high. Oh! oh. oh. Yo, yeah. I guess corner, though, so I still got hit. Don't sweat. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Nice. And right now, let me get down to just the Z Broly. Oh, nice! Oh. And the float! That uh -huh. float makes it so dirty. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Gotta get the knockdown in front of no assist, but we can hit him with a setup. Nope! Ready for it at that time. Yeah, those big buttons from Broly paying dividends right here. Look at that. Uh, new combo route. You'd love to see it. Ooh, we switch it out to UI. We're gonna go for the level one instead of spinning all the meter. Back to full screen with UI. Oh, man. It's it's weird that I see UI on the screen now, and I'm like, man, feels good to see UI again. Like, say say that two years ago, right? Like, that's crazy, bro. Say that at the beginning of like season three. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nice. Oh. Side to say a uh, same side this time. Ooh, does the wrong move though to get the confirmed. Yeah, well, I, I'm not sure what's going for a reset right there or what, but no, no, no. not working. If you, you do it, one? if you do it uh, as fast as possible, you can get just a monster grab beam, uh, which does a little bit more damage. Gotcha. Uh, but it's easier to just do the regular beam. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that is there's big. that float. Yeah. He floats on him. Uh -huh. And those are the new changes with beam assist. Looking very good. All right, just going for the hard knockdown right here. Oh, yeah, you got to that. Ah! Level one, level one, and that's it right there. You just lost in the command grab. Drac taking down Levy to that final character. Um, but we, we were talking about Living Break Broly earlier. Seven bars to play with. Like, 
Levy's not out of this yet. Uh, <laughs> Levy might be out of this now, right as I say that. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, he could have killed that. Yeah, I was nice. going to say, it's Jiri. He definitely do more damage than that. Nice. Force him to stay right there. Uh -huh. Oh, I like that. He's like, he's like, he blocked this. The assist is getting small. Yeah, but it was the Broly, uh -huh. and you're still, like, that still costs you the game. Oh, no, Sparking, you might. You no, might. Dead. Dead? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanted to watch this. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you no. messed up the combo. All right. Nope. Yeah, there it is. All right. All right. No meter required. Drax, like, nah, I just I just want to test the reset. No big deal. No <laughs> big man, deal. My man really just like, man, it's kind of chicky. Yeah, <laughs> let me get my shoulder, man. Look, look, right. look at the poker face on though. He's like, ah, I'm not even bothered. Completely unfazed. Completely unfazed. Nope. Ooh, you got caught super dashing out of pressure? Uh -huh. And that's, that's a medium starter, too. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Meter game penalty in effect, so not going to build that first bar, and Levy spending that spark getting right out. Ooh, gets the pickup, right. too. And that's the empty vanish. Okay, let's get it. All right, JH, straight into the mix. Ooh, Mike did that cross up. All right, there he is. right out there. The guard can't attack. Oh, JH doing work again. For sure. Uh, this is not going to be quite enough to kill. Not going to build that third bar, but you, you got to kind of guess on this one right here. They have to see it's just interrupting the raw tag. Very good stuff right there from Levy. Bringing him right down again. Are we going to see the tag or is going to keep the damage? Ah, there it is. I don't, there's no blue lights left on healing, to be honest. I don't see the healing through the tag. Yeah, the reset to neutral definitely. Uh, I mean, honestly, you just keep your side and not get him, man. There's no snap that anymore, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You are you you do not have the advantage you once did. All right. Um, but once again, we got that we got that Goku Black level three. All right, what is, high low? Which which one? It's high the same side, only because of the fact yeah, no yeah. meters to three cross. Oh, true, true. I need to see that. My bad. Exactly. Like, it, it, he essentially has no e uh, not enough meter to do the ex afterwards. You only have to watch out for like the same side over. There. Still, that's going to be more than enough. Drac taking Broly off the table. Now we got uh, Kid Boo and UI left. Levy's got plenty of meter, but not, not really finding a lot of opportunities to uh, cash oh, out. Whoa. Interesting. That had to have been a miss hit, part, right? I, I mean, that potentially could have been a Dragon Rush input that was messed up as well. Mm, true, true. Oh, my. Where are you going? Where are you going? That was so clean. Why are you running into my arm? Don't you, don't you want to be <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, just like this, I'm beyond this. Levy's like looking, six feet, bro. Get his back, get back. I ain't, I ain't trying to deal with that. I'll be honest, not looking good for Levy right there. No, no, not at all. Um, it, it's just rough. Like, you, you got the meter to play with. You got a full health, limit break, UI. Like, this this character has all the tools, but you got you to make a lot of correct decisions in not a lot of time. And that is going to be a tall order for Levy right now. Yeah, I think he has plenty of time. It's 180 seconds. The problem is, what can you do with this time if Jack says, ah, I'm going to run around, dive, kick, all this shit, get a combo. All right. Is he going to level three with Goku Black right here? Yeah, there it is. So this one is a little bit more dangerous on UI just because you can't shoot you at. Yep. Uh, depending on which shots, so I think he's just going to go for a free jump. Yeah, he did. Keep it right. clean. He's still got it. All right, and there it is. Drac finishing off Levy with a, another 2-0. Going to be moving on. Securing our second top eight spot right here. All right. Top 16 blowout, baby. Top 16 blowout, indeed. We've, yeah, we've had a lot of 2 eight, like, even, even before in top 32. Like, I was looking down the bracket before, and it's like, Zane 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. Like, everybody's just smoking. It's crazy right now. So oh. it's, a, it's a blow up until we get to top eight. Yes, yes. That's where the real sauce is going to start. And right now, our next one coming up, though, it's going to be legendary Fred versus K-Sack. You want to see K-Sack take down Fred in one of his weaker forms. To be honest, it, it is our real time to beat Fred is right now. He's been playing Street Fighter Six. He just came off of multiverses that he was playing his all into. This is your best chance. He's a wounded animal. I'm, ta I'm talking broken knee. The gunshot wound, he's bleeding from the side. Oh, yeah. You could track him a mile away. Oh, he's got yeah. that trail going on. You, uh -huh. you know where he's headed. Yeah, yeah. Hunter's yeah. like, oh, yeah, they, they went this way. <laughs> this way. You know so this is your best time to take him down. But we're going to see if K-Sack has that in them. K-Sack, uh, he managed to beat what did he do? Tyrant. K-Sack beat Tyrant 2-0. Oh, yeah. Yep. He said, no, nah, no, nah, I'm the better cooler. 
<laughs> oh, so we are going to see some cooler action. Yeah, yeah. Hell yes. Kasek, I love Kasek, this character. Kasek playing cooler. One of the strongest uh, cooler players, uh, 100%. Mm. So we're going to see what he brings to the table. I got to play some matches with him the other day. So interesting to see. Interesting. Should be good. What's what, what's the game plan going to have to be? Because Pred, like, wounded or not, you, you you corner a wounded animal, he's still dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, like what, what what's the play here for Kasek? So the play here is definitely to get a, a lead and kind of try to lame Pred out. Mm. If, you, if you let Pred get a lead, he will lame you out yes. 100%. Um, you want to stay away from that. You definitely want to hit him with as many ambiguous situations as possible. I'm not sure how many people on Pred's team are susceptible uh, to Cooler's uh, J2H cross-up, but if you have it, you need to use it. Cooler right now is a monster with the buttons, too. Yeah. They, they buff. <laughs> it's like I'm seeing this for every character, but they buffed yeah. him as well. His buffs were definitely egregious because now 5H is minus one on block. That's that's wild. That alone is wild. Uh, three three H is still projectile involved. Like and that, that shit still yep. slaps. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like that, that character, like great anti zoning tools. Obviously, like you called it out earlier. Some characters have that that left right in the dive kick. It is. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm really excited to a case has got. Um, kind of kind of proving a little bit earlier, taking out Tyrant. Um, and I'm I'm sure I had a great pools run too. Um, obviously making out winners. So. What you mean Tyrant's just a commentator, bro? Like, Yo, that's true though. That's oh, true. time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's time. <laughs> so that that's that's gonna be uh, actually I want to I want to see where we're at right here. Okay, so Posey Posey is still alive. All right, all right. I was I was I was gonna I was gonna Posey clown a little alive? bit. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Posey beat Justin at Justin at Law two <laughs> zero. So we're gonna be seeing him on stream shortly ish. I don't know who they're gonna be playing. A uh, loser of actually might be this kid, this one right here. That. Nope, it's going to be the loser of Zane and Lucar. Excuse me. So that's going to be a hell of a set. So. Oh, my God. I know Posey probably went crazy after beating Justin, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Hey, you know what? You made it this far. You're on the verge of making top eight. Hell yeah. I'd be popping off, too. Oh, my goodness. Is Tyrus still in? Uh, I, I believe so. Let me, let me peek this bracket real quick. Let's see. Don't worry. We have yeah. plenty of time. This is why I like to call it the legendary button check. <laughs> Fred will be taking about a minute to check his buttons. No, so. guess, guess who be Tyrant? Who be Tyrant? Posey. Posey? So Tyrant's out. <laughs> Tyrant's out. Oh, my God. Tyrant is out. Posey's still alive on the verge of making top eight. I, I was, Jake, what's, what's Jake looking like? Uh, Jake Jake just lost his skeezer. Oh, that, that just went down. Wow. Um, yeah, 2-1. Two, one, two, one. Like, it was, it was a game, but uh, we were, that means we're going to see skeezer on stream. And there, oh. Skeezer versus Dragon Von Doom. That's in our future. That's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of fun, actually. Um, Loki, I think I think Skeezer's got a really really good shot at that one. Um, Dragon Von Doom showed us some some kind of good stuff, but obviously when you're when you're fighting against Garlic, it, it is what it is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, oh yeah, I told you this is a legendary button check, bro. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, you you were not joking. I was I wasn't gonna say anything. I want to I want to jinx it. Yeah. Okay. We finally got the thumbs up. All right. All right. All right. And, and what was that? That was about. That was a full seconds. minute. Yep. 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 There it is. I told you it's the legendary button check, bro. It only takes one time where you mess your buttons up and it costs you like your 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 losers run or something like that to be like nah that's never happening again. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. So Pride is gonna go with 42. With team go on one of his classic teams. Yep. Um, Live coats been nerfed from uh, number one to number one. Yep. So she went. Listen, she went from number one, got nerfed to number one, and then nerfed again to number one. Man, that's crazy. That's what we call the um, the Kid Boo effect right there, I think, right? Yeah, that's, that's an old Kid Boo effect. Yeah. yeah. When my man used to get a nerf and then he would get like three new combo routes off of it. <laughs> that was hilarious. Those, yeah. Those guys at Bandai were cooking with him. Yeah. Somebody somebody at Bandai really mm -hmm. liked Kid Boo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't worry. They like Labco even more. Very true. Very true. Um, and we're about to see that here. Legendary Bread rocking LC21 on point. Mm -hmm. Um, and of course, you you called it out earlier. We're gonna get the cooler, which I'm we'll so home. excited for. Yes, yes. One of the important things in this matchup now that, that you definitely know is the fact that Preda switched from the A assist to the C assist. Mm. The reason being, they did nerf the assist and the move for a spin, um, which kind of makes it a little bit worse than what it used to be. It doesn't completely gel anymore. So now, because of the overall uh, changes to C assist, oh, that's a medium. Starter. Oh no! But, this is Lab Coat. Lab Coat still does some damage, so at, at worst you're uh, you gotta hold this. Damage or no meter gain, you even get a full bar from that combo. But guess what? You still had a smart because it's scary. Yo! With punishing the five L with the Dragon Rush, no tech that time. Legendary Pred, going to be losing. Yeah, pretty much all that spark time. That is rushing. 
right into the level three Ramirez too. Got to be careful for the setup. Are we going to go for the meaty two ups? Meaty orb into the overhead. Double overhead. Watch your noggin, Fred. Sometimes the simple stuff's all you need. You know what I'm saying? Like, just easy, nice, easy double overhead. You still got to hold that, man. Absolutely. So just like that. The JH. Mix. The block for Fred. Nice. Good blocks again, but guess what? I'm still plus. Ooh. Okay. It's a punish him with Dragon Rush. Legendary Pred. All right, let's, let's see the bomb loops. We got those? Uh, uh, success, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Going to bring him all the way to the corner. Going to DR right here. Nice. Level three. All right, here we go. All right. What's it going to be? High, low, or are you just going for safe? Low. Oh. oh I got hit. I got hit too. I'm not oh, <laughs> my God. The J2H man's going to hit right there, too. And the active tag right in the cooler. Uh, level, three. level three. So it, it, is KSAC about to make a liar out of both of us? Like this is listen, listen, I say I said he would win, right? Yeah. I said perfect. But I just said this is the best chance for him to beat it. That's true. You did say that as well. I said this is the wounded animal. This, oh, my oh. Nope, and there it is. Yep. The ball's coming back in play. You gotta watch him. Yeah, doing a phenomenal job of uh, managing life falls characters too. Basically, like you get a hit, tag it out. Oh nice. no! He's in the super jump to make sure that it changes directions. Gonna put him right back in the corner. Number three. Yeah. Mm. All right, so legendary Pred down that character, so wasn't able to uh, fully cash out on the meter to get the kill here, but that's still a good chunk of damage. Let's see if Kasek. Oh, oh no! Wow. Level three counter super. Sit down. Get out of here, bro. You tried to leave a meaty orb on him? Oh, and goes with the guard cancel. Goes unbaited. Legendary Pred should get plenty of blue life here. And that's a dead cooler. Easy. Easy. All right. Cross up medium into EX lasers unblocked. That game is too bad. I don't think I've ever blocked that in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Not on purpose, anyway. Nice. They got to be careful on the returning key blast. And he gets it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh no. and the barriers is called. Now watch out for the ball. Oh, wow. he preemptively tried to reflect the lariat, but she got a press out advantage. Face sack. Gonna be going back in the corner now. Nice, oh. no grab. So messed up. I love that. Oh, All right, man. level three. Oh. oh, he dropped the combo, but it doesn't matter. Jump light, gonna hit him right after that. And Pred pressing the issue, and Case is now down to solo Beerus. But this is Limit Break Beerus yes. with a new level three damage. Meaning, he just needs one combo, and Pred will die. Yeah, this yeah. Oh, and there it is. I think I was a medium starter, too. Yo, you're uh -huh. dead. Don't even uh -huh. need that extra uh -huh. level three damage, or oh. even the level one. That's it. Kasak tying this oh up. Yo, we got a game. And like I said, you gotta be careful about that 2M now. It's key blast involved. Oh my goodness. That was a little too scary. <laughs> oh! Oh, he yeah, the DP! Yep. All right, so has to spend a meter to uh, get the full conversion off this, but you are gonna get the corner. Orb set up. That was plus cut block right there. Ah! He hit it Beautiful! That's what I'm talking about uh, right there. He hit Still it. not dead. He hit it from the back. Oh, oh no. Nice jump light by Kasek. Managing to clutch it out right there. Oh my goodness. Look, 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 look. He's breathing in his hands. He's like, oh, yeah, look at that. He's like, Jesus Christ, help me. Somebody help me. <laughs> Somebody help I'm me. I'm trying to bandage my leg up, and this guy's just super dashing on me. What's going on? Like, There's orbs everywhere. Like, he hasn't played this game in months. Are you sure about that? <laughs> God. Help. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. All right, so this is, uh, it looks like Pred's taking a hot second here. Yeah, going back to character select. I don't think we're going to see a character switch. I think this is, yeah, yeah, just take it, or, just right. take it a quick second. I think, mean, so he's switching back over to, C, uh, to the A assist. So the reason he stayed with the C assist, uh, or switched away originally, because now it's their only assist that jails. Because uh, now, uh, because of the changes they made to spin, you can reflect at the very end of it. It becomes reflectable. Right. Okay. Yeah, so he was kind of worried about just using that assist against Kasak. But the unfamiliarity with the C assist probably is what really got him in that match. Yeah. Um, he just didn't know what routes to take with it. Didn't know how to really use it in neutral. Uh, so I think he is definitely making that switch now for that reason. And we're going to see, will it help him? Oh, my goodness. All right. And well, that's one way to do it. Spin is still OD. Ah! <laughs> and the 6H is going to get you. Nice overhead. Speaking of unreactable stuff, that 6H definitely feels like that. Something. 
There's so much to watch out for still. Exactly. Mental stack the character. And we're DPing right out of there. K-Sag not wanting to handle anyone else. <laughs> oh, excuse me? Yeah, what I said. Cross up J-H, baby. j oh, wait. Mm. I'm not even sure if that one crossed up. I'm pretty sure that one stayed same side. Yeah, I <laughs> it looked but, same side. Oh, my goodness. I think Fred was expecting it to cross up. But uh, the other thing is, if your character, if you do stand, mm. it won't cross up. Okay. Right? But at the same time, you got to be careful because uh, Cooler does have two lows. They're not unreactable lows, but their lows are gone. Yeah, you still got to watch out for them. Man, still, Pred off, off to a much better start this time. Instantly taking that Cooler off the board. Mm -hmm. um, definitely one of KSAC's stronger characters. Yeah, absolutely. And definitely, uh, even though he did lose that spark, he still has a team. KSAC using his spark, and I don't want to play against this. Oh, too early on that IADN. Oh, I love that. Use the key blast to cover the uh, the gap of the pressure right there. Good stuff from KSAC. He's going to find the hit. Uh, 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 uh. I like that. Sit your knockdown. Are we going to level three? Yeah, you got it. You got seven bars. There's no sense in sitting on all that. What do you mean? You can get eight bars. You <laughs> hold your level seven for a little longer. Oh, what? Yeah, you didn't know that? No. You're welcome. Uh, I, I learned I learned <laughs> new stuff here every day. Oh, my God. And the happy birthday. She's still the GOAT, guys. She's still the GOAT. All right, so we're not going to see the tag here. It looks like drop the combo. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Look at the damage. 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 Look at the Ooh! That was, a, that was a grip right there. Oh, Ooh. still finds a spot to tech out, though. Okay. Listen, this is this legendary raw tag Fred, man. If there's a gap, he's filling it. He's going to find it. He's sure. going to find it. There's not a hole he can't fill. That, they do say that about him. Very true. Mm -hmm. Oh. Man, that's it right there. Oh, Might oh. not. Yeah, not even going to spend that oh, first bar. No. Is, the, is the wounded animal healing as we speak? They fight. Seems like he's kind of figured out what Case like wants to do. Case like down to the solo baby. But remember, he has no dead bodies to call upon. So his neutral is considerably weaker right now. Yeah, still has three bars, but I mean, like, oh. Pred's Pred <laughs> sitting on the hook right now. Yeah, oh, that's, that's bad news right there. Uh -huh. All right, level three. Obviously, that Oki uh, not as good as it used to be. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> not even close, baby. <laughs> Yeah, it has to use the assist oh! right there and the empty jump low. So meter penalty is going to help out k a little bit here, but... Nope. Look, no. Those are, so those are also the new changes where it steals. The green one, now OTG's allowing her to continue the combo. Okay. So if he did not drop it, he actually just would have killed. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> she needs it. She needs True, so true. After that level three nerf, she needs it. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, there it is. Legendary Pred looking a little more legendary this time around. Not dropping a single character, and now, now it's, uh, this is going to be all on k right here. Um, we'll see. I don't think we're going to see a character switch. Oh, uh, um, 100%, no character switch. We're going to take a sip of water. Just a little agua to help me out. Mm. And Fred just looking big, and he's like, man. Stay hydrated. True, true. One of those multiverse servers coming back. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the secret to Fred's success is just mm -hmm. not thinking about this game. It's just like, <laughs> man, what am oh, I getting? Oh, oh, oh no. Wait, you're too late. Oh, Dude. that is crushing. And he drops the combo, oh. but he manages to get the anti air. This is going to be massive damage. Here's the rejump. Um, B. Oh, yeah, easy 50%. Into level three? No. no. Ah. We're oh. keeping it down. Oh. Yep, and he was waiting for the raw tag, calling Pred out right here. And guess what? Even Team Gohan is going to get it. A little bit of damage for you, too. Come here, brother. Yeah. Oh. It, it is wild how active that 3H is uh -huh. to this day. Oh, look yeah, at that. There it is. Cash out with the level three. Okay. Nice, nice little OTG off 21 flats. Eh? Mix. Ah! You shot me the spark. Yeah. Nah, I'm too big for you to cross up to the other side like you want to. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the neutral skip button right yeah, there. Yeah. Just 3H on him. No big deal. Uh -huh. All right, nice. And Fred managing to get a decent amount of damage. Definitely gonna go for the level three with lab coat. This is gonna be pretty good. J Sec has no spark, so he gotta hold this mix. But Fred has no meter, so it's still gonna be a two touch scenario unless he gets a medium starter. Oh, there it is. There's your medium starter acoustics. You call it. You played this game before, bro. You know what's good? You beat Punk before. What? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, bro. He took on 29 men. He's not gonna do that. <laughs> 
All right. So Legendary Pratt finally taking the character off oh, KSAC after a very strong start. Oh, but yeah, this is, no. this is the hard part about fighting somebody against Pratt. Like, you get a couple big hits, you make a couple good reads. Pratt is so good at cycling these characters. Hey. Another one? You're dead, hey. bro. You can't, it you can't, you can't. It all falls down. Oh. I'm telling you now. It all falls down. <laughs> Tell you all oh, in the side switch. All right, KSAC. It was a good run, bro. Yeah, it was. I like had a bunch of great moments, but like, you you need to lock Pred, Pred's characters down. You can't let him tag out. You can't let him get the health back. Especially Pred is starting to read that you want to do wake up reflect. Mm -hmm. Just let him get two medium starters for free. Literally two bad choices, and you lost your characters. Yeah. That's how this game goes, though. You got it. You got to be right. You got to be right a lot. I'm telling you now. With it all falls down. <laughs> We're turning this into the karaoke oh, stream for top eight. Good back hop dash. In there. Good to avoid the command grab, but guess what? It's over. It's, it's over. over. It's Jover, folks. It's Jover, folks. <laughs> it's Jover. It's Jover. <laughs> oh, no. Dark Brandon is not here to save you now, that is brother. Crushing. So, Pred Bates, the double reflect. <laughs> The level three I'd wake up. Like, bro, you, you, you sometimes you just got to hold the oak, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, listen, yeah. <laughs> like my man Gee said, yeah. from Tekken, predictable. Predictable, <laughs> indeed. So, oh, my God. That's crazy that they put him in KOF, too. I, yeah, I, I didn't yeah, even realize yeah, that until, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, oh, then they, they got that guy, um, Terry, from Smash in KOF. Yo, I saw that. That's okay. crazy. That's Yo. Hey. This is like like everybody's talking about like Smash is the compilation, but yeah. like like KOS bringing in guest characters left and right. Yeah, that, that's crazy. Bro. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> apologies to any KOF fans in the chat. Uh, we got we got one more game from winners top sixteen here, and it's gonna be Zane versus Lucar. Now, Lucar, I don't I don't gotta talk to you about Lucar or or Zane for that matter. Both these cats are sick, bro. I mean, listen, Zane, winner of UFA last year, West Coast's most decorated player when it comes to the game. The legendary assassin, one of the few people who actually took uh, games off of Wawa in tournament and actually put Wawa losers uh, over at Bones' birthday badge before. So, Zane is a highly accomplished player, but so is Luke Hart. My man is the winner of Texas Showdown. Um, one of uh, one of East Coast even stronger players too. Yep. And my man has like consistently gotten top eight. I think like the last five majors he's been at. Yep. So it is going to be crazy to see what he brings to the table. Both of them have a very, very uh, slower play style than a lot of players in Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah. I think specifically, Zane has one of those aha, gotcha play styles in the game. It's like, man, does my – it's like a flow chart, right? It's like, does your team have an answer for Zamasu? It's like, all right, if it's yes, you have a better chance of winning. No? It's like, oh, I bet. You're smooth. <laughs> You, That's it. Yeah. You lose you lose one character against Zane while he still has a mouse well. Yo, you ever played Marvel and DBFZ? Apparently now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fight, fight mode, fight mode, fight mode. And so we're gonna see. Um Hell yeah. Lucar does have an Android 16, who does have an anti-air grab, but it's not it's not as good as Broly's where it's armored or even yeah. projectile invo. Um, so that's maybe one of the ways he can kind of deal with the mouse. But other than that, like his team doesn't have a lot of good answers. So he's gonna have to be careful. It's definitely gonna be an interesting match. Um, Lucar, Lucar plays a couple different games too. I think uh, I want to say knock me out at um, Grand Blue at Combo Breaker, which I was I was not angry about at all. Um, definitely, wow. definitely not still tight about that. But uh, <laughs> that doesn't sound like it at all. No, 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 no. I'm yeah, over it, bro. Yeah, yeah you definitely, <laughs> definitely let it go. No big Mark, deal. Mark, yeah, yeah. Mark, I'm not holding on two months later. It's yeah, the yeah. Right. <laughs> <Okay>. Um <laughs> That that being said, I don't know. You 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 kind of called it out. Is he going to have an answer for Zamasu? Uh, I mean, I hope so. Listen, Zane is a master of winning the point war and then <laughs> never playing the game with you again. You, you don't like single-player Dragon Ball? I love single-player Dragon Ball games. <laughs> Legacy of Goku 2. Oh, that was, my, that, that, was, that was my game when I was a kid. Boost Fury. Oh, my goodness. That was, oh. You, 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 you play those GBA games you know what I'm talking about? I, I, I couldn't afford those. I'm That's sorry. fair. That's fair. All right. right. Yeah. Wait, we did get Dragon Ball Adventure. The, I don't remember that one. Which one was that? That's the one that DBFZ, I'm letting you know. It's literally a Dragon Ball Adventure. Okay. So, so the, of course, there's like the there's the open world mode of the game, mm. but then the characters have a fighting game mode. Yeah. I know the way you're talking about and now. Li right, li right. Literally, the combo system from DBFZ was not, like, if you go back to Dragon Ball Adventure, you'll see like there's so many similarities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the meter, actually, the meter thing is kind of similar too. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah. so, yeah. so we, that, that's the template kind. That's what we're working with. 
Interesting. <laughs> oh, for me? What's up? Where's my delivery? We got, we got a wild Ajax walking by trying to feed acoustics. He heard he was hey, running a little up? late. What? This would have been for you? Uh huh. You were able to actually catch a W yesterday. That's right. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but Ajax just came over with the food, talked some smack, and just kind of kept moving. You know what I'm saying? And that's uh that's what we call right. an Ajax moment right, right there. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Everyone got jokes. Yo, 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 yo. Everyone we'll, got jokes. We'll break his legs later. Yo, yeah, he's yeah, done. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. done. Just, just as a goof. He's like, done. Just, just as like, a, just kind of for fun. We're getting him out you know? here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm, it. I'm going to show you what New York looks like. I know. You're done. <laughs> Sayonara. You'll be sleeping with the fishes within a couple of days. So everybody knows when I disappeared, uh -huh. it was acoustic. Uh, yep. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna tell you what we just said. That all right, perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> New York style, Sicilian, Sicilian, <laughs> Sicilian. Got, got you. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Uh, don't worry, I got you. I got you. <laughs> oh wow. Wait, right. Yo, my, is that big green? My, my man Lucar put out his hand for a handshake and he didn't even get it. Oh. Don't worry, there's, there's 100 percent a button check. Yeah, okay. Wow. I was going to say, yeah, there's no Zamazu on the screen. Uh, this is I, definitely look, a I looked at all these characters. I was like, oh, yeah, this is definitely yeah, a bunch yeah, of yeah, 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 I, I, I don't care how diverse Dragon Ball Fighters gets. <laughs> Those teams are not happening. <laughs> Wait, you, you don't think we're going to see Yamcha today? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. We, yeah. we saw, like, one Yamcha yesterday in pool, but my man was not pulling out the sauce that he needed to at all. Yeah. He's not cooking. You hate that's, to see it. That's, that's Yamcha. That looks like a, I sound like a parrot now. Also got buffed. <laughs> so, 5H has some vulnerability frames on it. Um, <laughs> he did legitimately need some buffs, though. So. Oh, yeah. It'd be all right. Listen, humans aren't the strongest race in Dragon Ball anyway. That tracks. It's canon. Yeah. He That's should canon. be the strongest. Everyone can't be the strongest. No, 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 no. That's that's not how that works. What's Jiren gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's uh, right, that's not even Jiren anymore because we're 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 past that arc. It's we we got we got to power creep some more in uh in traditional Dragon Ball style. Listen, yeah, we, until we get that DLC, well, we're not gonna get that DLC. Mm -hmm. Um, but in alternate universe where we got that DLC, Moro, Moro and Fight. Oh God. Moro and Fighters too. What what kind of what kind what would the move set be there? You know what I'm saying? Like, so the stab through the heart would have to be either a special move mm. or like his five H. It, it depends on what they would do. I think it should be like a special move, the yeah. stab through the heart. Level three is definitely his giant planet transforming thing. One hundred percent. Yeah. Um <laughs> What a what a what a move. Yeah, oh yeah, you didn't know he, he turns into Mogo from Green Lantern. <laughs> Literally. Jesus. No, I, I haven't read any of the moral stuff, oh, yeah, so yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to cook anybody in case they want to read it. So you know what? Yeah, man. Let's, let's just say a lot of stuff happens here. This is Zane's loot. I forgot about this. Oh. Zane has embraced the power of the children, and now he is Gotenks on his team. Yes. All right. I, I actually love Gotenks. I get some I get some love from this character from, like, season one. Uh, one, one of the mainstays on my team. So I always love seeing some uh, some Go Tanks action coming at you. And I think just as a character, he's goofy as hell. And I'm into that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my goodness. And there it is. What am I man doing? Hey, uh, I'm looking around. What's up? Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, Pred, Pred's off the off the stage now. Legendary bunch. It's <laughs> over. Like, what's, please, what, please. <laughs> what do we got going on here? <laughs> I love Pred, but I think he's taking, like, at least an hour of my life just through his button checks alone. Oh, yeah, because you get to commentate all his stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's true. Uh, he's definitely probably more than that, statistically. Oh. Yeah. Statistically? Yeah, it's probably several hours. Statistically, Fred has probably taken several hours of my life through Dragon Ball. Yep. Maybe days. Maybe days. Uh, possibly a whole month, even. <laughs> I, <laughs> what a <laughs> wild thing to say, but, uh, you know, yeah. that's, that's how it be. That's yeah. how it be. You like that? All right. We're getting right into this. So this is our last round of winners. Uh, we got some losers matches coming up at you right after this. Um, we, are, we we hit you with a couple spoilers, but before we get through that, we got to uh, we we got to solidify winners top eight here. Of course, CEO. absolutely. We need to see who the queen of the crop, who's going to rise to the top, oh, is going to be right now. So of course we're going to see who it is. Legendary. <laughs> oh, legendary. Oh my goodness, that was a legendary jumping right there. Oh. He got this? Yeah. Oh. Bring him down. Oh. Yo, in the cancel. Yo, you were kidding. This character's got some sauce. Let's go, baby. Uh, uh, nice. Can't do Ghost Oki anymore, but you still get a nice little setup. Nope. He beat 16 for that. He, so the spin is projectile info. Yep. So my man can just be like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh. Your, your assist is now invalidated. Uh, uh, yeah, nice. Oh. Oh, I like that. Super jump. Get out of the way. Uh, 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 
look, 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 look. Eh? He did four special moves in a row to still get a knockdown. And guess what? He actually has to set up now for Gold Ogi. Oh, oh no! It just gets hit raw. Uh-huh. What you spot dodging for, baby? This is a smash. Look at this, look at this. And he does this, into this, into this. <laughs> <laughs> this character is so sick. Oh my goodness. He built up a meter off of a meter Oki. You love to see it. That. <laughs> <laughs> you love to see it. It's cool though because he takes execution, so it's oh, good. Air begins. All right. So you called it out earlier. 16's got that anti air grab. We'll see what Zane does to bait that yeah. because you know Zane's like that. Nice. Yeah. And it's so crazy. So 16 does that. His DX grab. Has projectile invo property, right? Yeah. But it doesn't matter because the mouse is still airborne afterwards, and then he just hits him like twice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. The, the Zamazu changes where he like gets those fly mix ups after this. Uh, what, what was that like season three or so? Like, that was like season three point five. Yeah. Oh, that's what it was. That like that just opened up everything. Oh, wow, this that's crazy. Hey, Luke, you ever lost that character select? Welcome to League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's that's crazy though. Is is you did my manage to call it a game that takes more time to play than Dragon Ball though? Oh, so yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, Luke are down just to the UI right now. And, yeah, this is rough. Zane just happy to play full screen, play the zoning game, oh, lay yeah. it out. Oh, nice. nice. Gonna get a decent amount of damage from this. Yeah, oh. limit break UI. Uh, he didn't do the new combo, you failed. There's the level three. I, we're not gonna see the level five cash out, right? Yeah, I mean, I wish he had a level five. <laughs> Yeah, he's not like the Blue Goku where he gets a level five. He only has a level two from level one. Oh, nice. that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. Mixing my characters again. Don't worry, they're all Goku. <laughs> True. All these monkeys look alike, bro. Damn. Because they're saying, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to say, just freeze a posting in yeah, the chat. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is, this is such a bad oh, spot to be What do you mean? You're dead. It's not. <laughs> what, that's not fun? That's not hype? Uh, I, I, was, I was pretty hype if your name's Zane. Yeah. I'm gonna be real. Like, you're, you're pretty heavy with that. Yeah, you paid your flight to Daytona, you paid for a room, paid venue and entry. And That's you got 2H! Again! You got, <laughs> you got 2H after the man safe jump team. That's not hype? <laughs> oh, man. If, if I was one of the players, see, I'd probably be a little tight. But uh, I'm, I'm safely back here, so yeah, I'll say that type. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Zane looking dominant, not dropping, uh, dropping the single character, excuse me. Um, and now Lucar has to take a minute. Yeah, oh, the glasses are fogging up, the eyes are closed. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, this this is just way, it's, it's way too rough if you allow Zane to win the point war. Yeah. All his characters can play a really lame game. And then now with the addition of Gotenks on it, he has really good answers uh, for people who are neutral. Ooh, all right. Much better start using that UI assist to uh, catch Go Tanks in the air, but you just did, woke up and did a special move yeah. again. That's not hype. Yeah. No, that's hella hype. That's oh, definitely look, hype. I think he has a space. Uh, he doesn't quite have the space. Oh, okay. nice good tech right there from Lugar. Tries to get him with the eight frame lariat, but it does not matter. That child is getting right out of there. I like that. Then he does the fastest beam in the game into the monster assist, and you're just like, that's crazy. Oh, oh that was a nice. sick bait on the 2H, but Lucar is still able to recover in time and smokes Zane with the assist. Going back down level one. Nah, just keeping it, all right, just, just the level one. So sacrifice a little low, keep trying to get some damage, but Zane instantly tags out, gonna get that health back for Gotenks. Mm -hmm. And this is this is where the party starts right here. See, now, funny enough, he could potentially, when he has me to do 2S, 5S, and vanish, yep. And that allows him to get in. Oh, but he drops to confirm, even with the right arm of the Forbidden One. Oh, nice. Gonna hit this is. Oh, nice. you got command grab. Get out of here. Confirm. Oh, but he does the five that's for way too long. Not gonna be able to get the confirm from there. Try to get the beam in the Super Dash now. UI Goku can do that combo as well. Yep. Blocked it all. Let's yeah. go. I all tell right. you, 2S, 5S, yep. into Vanish, and he does have a way to get it. He's very good. So Luke I started nope. to make the adjustment, but gets 2H again. Zane's anti-air game is so strong today. I mean, the other thing is the monster's 2H is um, assist involved mm. and key blast involved. So against 16 assists, it's just like, um, yeah. What are you What are you doing? <laughs> I don't. Losing apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. On character select screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we nope. go. Yo, gets crossed up with the EX ball. Lucar can kiss that UI goodbye. That's huge for Zane right there. Like, like canceling out that neutral skip into, uh, into Vanish, like you said earlier. Mm-hmm. 
like, all right. So now I just got to deal with the big boy. Come here. Oh, we're in. All right. Blocks the 6M, though. We can block no. 6M. Bates the assist, and that is a big problem for Lucar. Oh, shout cancel again. God, that's so sick. Wait, hold on. Look, this is even more sick. Look. Ooh. It's a go -toke. That's That's dirty. hype. Isn't yeah. that hype? That's so hype. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fortune out the smart. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Trying to mix him up. He has no DP, so this is your best chance. Get that chip damage. Oh, nice and mid. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Yes, an oh. anti air grab. Good stuff. Managing to get him right back in the corners. All right, Lucar won't be able to get a kill. Oh, I don't know what that drop was. Yeah, instantly tagging into Fidel, too. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to hold this. Oh. Well, it is, but listen, he's going to approach the kid. I'm, I'm fine on that. Look at that. So much air stalling available for Gold Train. He's like, all right, I'll stay there forever. The cool win options are insane. Uh, and there it is. You can only block for so long in this game. Lucar getting caught up by the cross up. Oh, my goodness. And the consistent shot into the Lucar. Let me find out you're a real Gold Train player. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, easy. Level one, level one, level three. Kiss that character goodbye. It is going to be solo 16. Oh, against against this? All right, GG. Yeah, GG. Right, well, that was a good run, Luca. Uh, still, still good. got losers to worry yeah, about, you know? Still, still alive. Still got but, uh, yeah, it is it is looking like Zayn is probably going to be moving out to top eight, barring a miracle coming out of Luca right here. This is what we call one of those miracles that will not be happening. Oh, almost. Trying to get that anti-air grab. He does have three meters. But guess what? I'm in oh. That man, five days used to go through projectiles. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Pepperidge Farm remembers. My goodness. Oh, and they're going to set up with here. Well, that's childish. That's Two -age. childish. Yeah, don't, don't try to vanish out of that pressure. Zane has been so ready with that. Instant level three. No need to overcomplicate things. Zane <laughs> is going to be moving on to top eight. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Look at the hand going up. Yeah. He's like, we cool? We cool, bro? We, we still cool, right? It was like it was like a stare down of like, he's like, yo, we good? <laughs> You're not tight, right? Man, man said one person already got swinged on. Please, not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that, that's going to wrap up uh, Winner's Top 16. We got, I think, four losers games left to decide who the final four for our top eight is. Ooh, um, cool. And we're going to see some more Dragon Von Doom action. Um, I believe that was our first game on stream. And now we get to see Skeezer, which is one of my favorite players. Um, big, big Skeezer fan over here. Um, and I, I don't know. This, this is going to be a real exciting game. Whoa. You, 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 uh, is this something I said? You laughing at me again, Kuzlix? What, what's happening? Is it is it sound of my face? Say say something for me. No, I'm good. No, no, uh, no, no, no. Thanks for the offer though. Appreciate <laughs> it. Um, <laughs> my, mighty kind to of you, but uh, <laughs> you spending some time in Atlanta, son. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> I, I don't want to talk about Atlanta right now, man. Um, <laughs> shout out, shout out to Killer Kill Mike did just put it out an album though. That's all I gotta listen to. Um, yeah, I, I, that, that's my Atlanta uh, connection. That's all I got. Sorry, sorry guys. Sorry, that's I, I I don't have a deep pool to, to pull from right there. Right, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we we got Skeezer and Dragon Von Doom coming in. Who's Skeezer's playing these days? I haven't I haven't played Skeezer in a minute. Um, Skeezer. Uh, last time I played him, I think he was playing. Uh, I know he still has the Beerus. Hmm. I think he had like Cell on the team, Ooh. and then he had another team with like Nabo. So, oh, so we're gonna we're gonna see what he decides to pull out this time. I ain't gonna lie, it looks like Skeezer is fighting like Skeezer in a Akatsuki outfit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he, this, this is it like kind of does, doesn't it? Yo, it looks like he's literally fight like you know those TikToks where the creator just puts it's just him and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, low key, it, this is just a Caleb City video right here, yo, straight up. With, like, the, with the mask, yeah. and, like you only look at the eyes, like it literally looks like the, the eyes look almost identical. Yo, yeah, the yeah, eyes yeah. are literally almost identical. Let's Holy. just let's just get an eye cam of both of these players side by side, and and you'll you'll have to tell who is who. Bro, that's <laughs> actually crazy. Oh, my man put the cap back so you can see the hairline. Oh yeah, said, yeah I yeah. saw my barber before this tournament. Show off the did, fresh cut. Did you? No, 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 no. I'm gonna be real with you. I sh I just shave my head because I'm I'm a lazy bastard. Don't worry, I'm even more lazy. I told him to get all of <laughs> Hell I yeah. was like, give me the kingpin. <laughs> give, give me, give me the into the spider verse. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. So yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Trunks. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. So we are we are still gonna see some Napa. Um, 
Dragon Von Doom. Obviously. He's another Napa player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Rocking the, uh, the same team from winners here. Didn't really get to see him so much in the sauce. We saw a little uh, blue uh, blue Vegeta action, a little bit of Broly action. but uh, Okay, I, so now I remember this team of Skeezer. So Skeezer wants to set up the good old Fuzzy. Uh, with the C assist for Trunks, you can set up the, the ID Fuzzy with uh, Gogeta 4. Yep. Um, it's actually really good now because the CSS has a way, a slow, uh, way lower cooldown, 8.9 seconds exactly now. So uh, way way better than the 16 it used to be. Mm. So, so way more chances to use it. Uh, the 5M's <laughs> the 5M starting at all. Every GT4 months. player is contractually obligated to uh, press that on round start. And that could have been a tragic happy birthday there for Dragon Ball. I mean, luckily, the, the meter game is... is very much new to this guy. Oh my goodness. This is a Spark Big Bang starter. That's oh, gonna Twitter. hurt. Twitter come? Oh. He got happy birthday again, but yet again, Steve is not lucky enough to confirm. No, that could have been utterly tragic right here, oh. but now we get to see some Trump shenanigans. Nope. Nope. No, we're not. We're just gonna see a big 2 way you, you try to flip on your daddy? Mm -mm, no, on sir. Your dad? No, 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 no. I invented that trick, son. Yeah, yeah, you you still, can't pull that on me. You still live in my house, and you gonna flip on me. Tyrone's fit. Ooh, okay. Oh, little Tyrone's gone. No. Yo, Dragon Von Doom gets oh, he got these, out. This is mad damage right here. Oh, got him. Ooh, good block. Yeah, it will kill for the assist, but oh, he's still got to hold this. It doesn't block the overhead. Oh, goodness. A plus. Oh, not plus, but still overhead. Wow, three in a row, baby. Here we go. Oh, Here we died. go. Yeah, you died off that for sure. That was yeah, that was one of those deals. I don't I don't blame Skeezy for going that multiple times. Like, yeah, I just need one hit. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, cash yeah. out, no big deal. Yeah, can't block overhead forever, right? So sooner or later, you want to hit down back. Because that's what you were taught in school. Exactly. Oh, okay. Another happy birthday. Oh, nice. Instant level three. Yeah, that was smart. Good stuff. All right. He's gonna have to find a way uh. to Oh, it doesn't confirm off of it, though. Would have had advantage. Yeah, now Skeezer's getting all this oh. health for Trunks back. Yeah, this is big trouble. Oh, my man was really pressing too low right there. I saw that. Oh, oh, Bele, Ronaldino, Saka, FIFA. Ugh. Oh, you're dead. Oh, it doesn't go for the Supers at all, though. Interesting choice to now die because of me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we just, we just don't want to kill. No, 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 we're not into that. We're I, I don't. I guess we don't want to kill people. It's it's like the go to Goku mentality of I'll get you down there. I ain't gonna kill you. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you a chance. I'm gonna give I, you a chance. You'll be a better person in a better life. Third time's the charm, baby. <laughs> stupid, stupid. Wait, I'm not even gonna give you the chance. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Uh, uh. Yo, is Dragon yeah, he's dead. running this bad? That's dead. That's dead. That's dead. Shout out to the oh. new combo routes because you needed to be able to cancel into any special out of Big Bang attack. <laughs> <laughs> he needed it though. Like, come on. I, I, there's so many more ways you could have fixed him besides, <laughs> besides, besides that. that. And like, yeah. Agreed. And now Skeezer just down. Yeah, trying to trying to change the future right here. Oh, Ooh, full screen super dash. We playing Dragon Ball now, baby. Let's go. Hold on, Princess Trunks in the building. Let me talk to you. Where you get it? What you doing? Ah, uh, flip in. Yo, hey. the pain train coming at you. Don't even try it, baby. Command grab. Princess Trunks, you lied to me. You lied to me, Princess Trunks. Come here. <laughs> Let me get a little piece. So don't ride for me. Oh, uh. damn, there it is. All right. Yeah, yeah you yeah, can see the look on Skeezer's yeah. face. It's like, mm, yeah, like, that was that was my bad. That was on me. I'll like, own that. Yep, I okay. Up, I messed up a little bit. Yeah. I messed up a little bit. I'm be real with you. But, you know, uh, it's not my fault. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. You know, it was uh, sun was in my eyes, Listen, and you know, a, I had to walk was, my dog's goldfish. It so it's big, all good. It was a big, strong, intimidating man, and I couldn't handle all of his girth. No, he, you know what it was? He looked in his eyes, and he, yeah. and he saw himself, and, he's and he got scared. <laughs> if you look into Broly's eyes and see yourself, I think you're delusional. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about Dragon Ball 2. Oh, they, they, they made oh, the yeah. accidental eye contact, and it's like, damn, is that me? That's crazy. Oh, oh, you mean like the, the parallel doppelgangers? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They start hurting each other because they're existing in the same universe? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that'd be smoke right there. Oh, my God. That'd be, that'd be too much for, uh, for this tournament, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, okay, and we are oh. seeing a little character switch. Yo, Trunks, Princess Trunks, put him in, put him in the trash. Yep. I don't need him. Yep. Why do that? You got a PhD right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, we going to school. Look at that. Uh. Nice. Now we're definitely going to switch out right here. Oh, is that going to come down? 
Yeah, just keep it easy. Safe hey. jump. Standing hey. lows, bro. Get out of here. You still got to cover the toes. That's not, that's not hype? Nah, that's hype. I'm into it. I'm into it. <laughs> I had to think about that because I have some PTSD from the Android 18 days, but, you know, it's no big deal. You'll be okay. Oh, oh, nice plus into a 50-50 setup, but his legs are too small. Oh, oh, yo, medium starter. He did not expect to actually get the hit. No, oh, definitely not. <laughs> no, and he messed up the acting tag combo, but it doesn't matter. Anti-air grab. Dragon right. Von Doom managing to take care of that. Oh, 21. But you know what? She, she put on some damage and she took a smart. Yes, definitely huge in this game, and you still got. Uh oh! Uh oh, Ruh Roh Rag. Yeah, I think we're in a bit of a Ruh Roh Rag now. Oh. Yeah, seem to have found ourselves in a little bit of a situation. Oh, text out though, okay. Oh, but it don't matter. You jump. That's, that's your fault. I'm, I'm reeling from all these freaking blue Vegeta grabs right now. It's too much. Too much oh, to handle. Oh, you know what else is too much? The setup I'm about to beat you right now. Nah, oh, that's, yeah. That's crazy. Touch He's me. just like, I've done Yo, that one before. Uh -huh. I ain't dealing with it. He said, I know about this. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh. Yo. Yeah, yeah so we confirm. Uh -huh. Oh, well, guess what? Little Tyrone, I choose you again. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you ain't getting out. You uh. just got caught pressing too well right there, uh. straight up. And I'm here to help my daddy with his combo. Boom, there it is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Little Nappa on Nappa action right there. Dragon Von Doom coming out on top. And this is a kind of a much more dominant uh, round than that first game. This is crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Looking like the Zeus video. These Nappas wilding. <laughs> Damn. All, all blinked out in that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell oh, yeah. Hold oh, on. Nice. Going to get the re-jump. Level three. Now look at this damage. Oh, yeah. This is lemon oh, break. Look at this. Yeah, this look is going to be so much. What, 80%? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. They Hell, yeah. They bumped how much damage you did. Nice. That's dead. OK, we got a chance. Uh, Let's go, Skeezer. Oh, this is the main. This. Don't drop this. Oh, no, oh, you I dropped said. this. What I said. What I said. Just DP, bro. Just DP. You know you want to. Yeah, he's, not, he's probably oh, not going to bait it, right? Not the 2 -8. It's a whip. Oh. No, but you got hit by Big Bang. Oh, that's trouble. Oh, scream, Big Bang. Oh. Nice, good confirm from EX. Getting that cheeky link with the 5L. No, he still misses the Oki, though. Nice. He messed up the active attack again. You know what? You weren't meant to win. You weren't yeah, meant to win. That was, yeah. You weren't meant to win, bro. Just back it up. Just back it up. And Dragon Von Doom said, ah. <laughs> he said, you're, you're not strong enough to beat the Akatsuki. He, he, he whiffed it? Yeah. And it was just like, nah, I'm still going to win, though. Yeah. What? With, with the oh. air grab and do uh, JL, that's the hype? That, that, well, hold on, let me do the math on that. Oh. No, that type as hell. Oh, I, I'm, into I'm into it, I'm into it, I'm into it. It did break my brain a little bit when it happened, but that type as hell, I'm I, into it. I, listen, man, <laughs> you wanted to scramble with the best, and now you got left with the mess. That's it. <laughs> I, I, I blame that for uh, for my not success with this game. Is I like scrambling a little, a little too much. I ain't good enough at this game to get the scrambles on. Like, I, I get to play with too many good players to. This, 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 is, how you, this, this is how you learn. You know, scramble yes. city. You know, very, very, very you know, true. It's like knockout city, but way more hectic. And, and this is one of those games, too. Like, you, you do need to know those scramble situations to a certain point, right? Like, it, it, you will run into them at yeah, a certain 100%. point. It doesn't matter how clean your gameplay you're is. Go, you're going to end up scrambling in this game yeah. 100%. So you're better off needing, knowing what's your best option in this game. And for him, he was like, man, I whiffed the grab. I'm going to press light. <laughs> Which, I'm a press light. I think I you whip three, something. I got three characters. What you going to do if you 2 H me? Yeah, for real. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you have that much of a lead. Pff, yeah, I'm gambling there, too. Are you kidding me? Hell, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Yep. I see who's sitting down. So uh -huh. this is uh, is this the New York team kill right here? Uh, well, Luke Hart is Luke from York. New York. Luke Hart's from, uh, I think he's from is he East Florida. Really? Oh, I'm tripping then. Oh, yeah, I'm, I yeah, might be yeah, thinking of somebody else. Yeah. That's my bad. All right, all right, yeah, all right. He's East Coast. You know, in, in the larger scope, we're under the East Coast banner. Yes, yes. Right? But this is New York versus Florida right here. My man Posey said, I got you. Posey. All right. So this is this is going to be the test. This is to make it into top eight right here. Yes, so right this here. is like po Posey had to kind of, like, anytime you got to choose between, like, man, am I going to commentate top 16 or am I going to play I mean, in that? To like, make this more impressive for Posey, he lost his first round match. No. <laughs> Who did he lose? First round of pools? Some random, bro. Get out of here. And he ran but, it all the way back? It, but to make it fair, when he got to lose his finals of his pool, yeah. it was the same guy he lost to. And then he beat him. So, so Posey's come from first round losers out of his pool all the way to top 16. That's that's my favorite. I love those kind of storylines where the, it's like the low key, Posey's in his anime moment. Yeah, if hell he yeah. beats Luke Gar right now, top eight, baby. Top I'm about, eight. I'm about, I'm about to never hear, hear 
I'm about to like never. Recover. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, you'll never not time. hear about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Posey, up. every time you you run into Posey in any situation, it'll be like, yo, you know, I'm just happy to see you that one time. I was losing it. I came back by myself. You know what I'm saying? You know my body, cool. I came back by myself all the way back. Got that on deck. We're going to see right now, Posey, the last commentator in, I'm pretty sure, because Tyron is out now. Jake Ryan's out. Skeezer yeah. beat Jake Ryan. Yep. Skeezer beat Jake Ryan. Tyron lost to who? Uh, Posey. Posey, yeah. Posey, wow. yeah. It was the commentator team Posey kill. Posey did the commentary kill. Yeah. That had to feel good. You, you, uh, Man, you, you come out all the way from uh, across the ocean, and, and you lose to, to this man right here. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he got Tommy to commentate. He's chilling. True, true. Hey, put on that melty blood. <laughs> oh, man. I Low key, I can't wait for melty blood. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, all right, so Lucar, yeah, still rocking the same team. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're not going to do a button check. Posey's not really a button checker, but we're going to see. Yeah, I, I kind of hope not. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I don't. I don't want to get baited, though. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe, maybe. Shout out to AJ, Ajax at uh, CEO last year, two years ago. Got baited like six times in a row with the button check. It was pretty funny. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll we'll see in a hot second. Um, that being said, I am excited to see some more Goku Black action. Um, the, uh, <laughs> the, the the day one top tier makes a return. So let's see. Yeah, yeah, we're playing. All right, here All we right. go. Yes, indeed. I told you. Real New York players, we don't do no button checks. We don't need no button checks. We don't need no button checks. Okay. We know our buttons. Huh? All right, nice. Oh, got hit by the overhead, though. So this is this should be a matchup that uh, that Post is familiar with, because there are some New York um, uh, oh. Fidel players. There are, yeah, we have um, we have Measy and... Uh, and Daniel. Daniel was actually here with Daniel. Him. Okay, I knew BZ. I, I didn't know about Daniel. All right, all right, let's keep it up. I mean, and Tech. Oh, oh, he knew. You he are knew. so sick for that pose. He knew. He knew. He knew. All right. Absolutely. Great option right there. Realizing that's an eight frame Larry after him. So you know what? You have to know they're going to do that. That's one of those situations, though. Like every game, especially like modern games right now, post tech, post -tech situations are so important to understand. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, super dash. Oh, and the smart. Yo, got caught doing the back dash, no 2-H. Posey is super dash right now. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Posey's definitely getting away with some unprovoked super dashes, but it'd be like that. Oh, and there's the cross up. That is cheap. All right, so Lucar is gonna lose that spark, um, but was able to get a hit off the back of it. So it's not a not a total loss, but you're gonna need to take this 21 off the table right now. Ah, it's good. Mm, that's why. Right and the grab is actually going to beat the Android uh, 16 anti here. And he was trying to get out. I saw the little spot up on this. You can't see me. It's quite familiar oh, with your game. It's a level three. All right, we got the meter. What's it going to be? Left, right, high, low? Uh, I'm, play? Say, I'm saying same side, high. Same side, high? All right. Oh! Who yeah. sticks with the knowledge here? Yo, right. let's go. Uh -huh, oh, and that's that link you were talking about earlier. You get it off quick enough? Uh -huh. Yeah. But Sadie does not have enough meter to kill right there. He needs, yeah. he needs to go for the, oh, yep. Reflected the key blast and responds with 2H. Posey right now in the lead, still has a spark. Two characters, this might be the time. <laughs> commentator's up, commentator stock's going crazy right now. Yeah. Now we got Goku Blue on the field. Another character with some big damage. Nice, I like that Posey said, listen, I'm gonna walk around nice. Clean, clean, here we go. Ooh. No, you dropped it though, Posey. Ooh. It's all right, oh, nice. <laughs> he catches the jump. I mean, see, I know you want to leave. Yeah. I want you to stay. This is a, oh, and Lucar dropping the conversion yet again over the super jump. Oh, but Posey get hit with the overhead at the end of that. Yeah, good tag right there. Get the little bit of health back. Not going to matter in the grand scheme of things, but you do not want to lose out on Fidel quite yet. Yeah, Spacing, right backing off. Posey's just said, listen, I, I got my back to the corner. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I got, I got the character lead. No big deal. Listen, I'll slowly approach her on each. Nice, right. and here we are playing that call, Luchu. And I said, and I said to Posey, him and Luke are playing entirely the same. <laughs> yeah. they, they are actually two, two parts of the same coin right there. Yeah, you were saying that about Luca earlier. Very happy to just kind of play it patient, play it slow, um, which is is important in this game. You need to. You, oh, got caught by the end frames of the beam right there. Yeah, close. Nice good block. Oh, went for the flight right there. Gotta be careful. 
<laughs> yeah, that, that should be good knowledge for Lucar right there. Put that one in the bank. Where is it? Okay, okay. So you like to reflect this one. Got you. Die kick oh, get out nice. of trouble. Oh, my God. Yo, what do we call that? What do you call that? The square button society yeah, right there? There ain't no man. Get yeah. Your t -shirt. <laughs> 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 oh, just like that, he's going to be able to kill level two and the level three. Yeah, that's easy. That's a, that, that's a combo that uh, Luke has hit a million times. No chance of dropping that one. Here we go. Posey <laughs> going to be dropping. Uh, finally dropping a character right here. And we, we got ourselves a set. This is uh, this is shaking up to be exciting. I, all I know is a lot of lame people made it to top 16 because I'm seeing less than 100 seconds on the clock now. No, and two characters on both sides left. Holy cow, that's crazy. And Posey still has spark, though. I think the minute he gets a hit, he needs to use it. Yes. Yeah, I think you're right. You you want to hold on to both these characters as long as you can. Oh! oh! And he went for the anti-air key, uh, like the beam, too. And this You're dead. should level be enough to three. kill. Yeah, there it is. All right. Just barely build that final bar needed. That's right, going to do it. All right, Lucar finally taking the lead right here. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, get out of here. Oh, Posey, please. Posey, please. I don't know what you're thinking. You got to do what you got to do. Wow. Got to hit EX Dive. Going to be able to do a super dash. He's going to be able to kill. Yeah, level three. Mm -hmm. Don't bring that. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Do oh, not bring back 21 yet. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can see, like, y'all can't see it at home, but the player cam right now, Posey's just like, okay, he's okay. He's he's like, okay. We chilling, we chilling, but okay. like, like he's, he's still in his zone. 65 seconds, that's Posey has a slight life beat. Lucar could have hit that assist, actually. Yeah, you, 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 gotta, you gotta start thinking about baiting the spark, too, if you're Lucar, because that is coming. You do not want to die with that. Oh, and that 5 0 was worth the no punish. Nice, good tag on the Dragon Rush. 50 seconds left. <gasps> Posey you! with the jump out. You Finally it. smart. Instantly. All right. So no meter on Posey's side. Oh, got the extra overhead after the super dash. No, but he misses the beam confirmed right there. Oh, my goodness. Next hit is guaranteed to kill pretty much. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was so scary. Lucar almost no, had the pick up. Flags. And is going to be taken down. Android 21, one apiece right here. Lucar. At the life deficit, but has a meter advantage. Oh my goodness. And Posey, if he does get hit, he will die. Posey has to be careful. Can't commit to these options like this every time. Oh, trying to move and then he gets it. Oh, and just like that, he threw it. Yeah, that's 16 right seconds left. He just had to play it back. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, you can see you, you can see Posey like the, the head nod there for a hot uh, second, yeah. just like, okay, okay, this is what it is. I'm a hydrate. Get some I water mean, going. All he had to do was play around. To be honest, all he had to do was play around Goku Black 5S. Yeah. And if he tried to do any of the counters, he would have had an answer. He did not need to rush in. You had the life beat post. Yeah, try, overcommitted a, a little too many times right there. And uh, we're hopping mm -hmm. right into game two. Uh, kind of an awkward interaction right there. Both players uh, mm -hmm. waiting for each other to blink. Oh, absolutely. Listen, I told you, very similar play style. Yeah. You're going to see it. Oh, nice overhead right there after the God Slicer. Oh, he's messing up inputs now. Oh, Posey's nervous, bro. You can tell. Oh, yeah, good. The nerves are definitely getting to him right there. Now, tell, he likes to go for that command grab beam, but I'm telling you, just do regular beam right now, Posey. Tournament combo. Oh, and Lucar saying, I got a tournament combo for you right now. Gonna get rid of that Goku Black, Posey's best character. All right. Triple level one right here. And uh, that, that was a very, very quick Goku Black coming off the table. Um, God Slicer was doing some work for Posey last game. And oh, yeah. that is now no longer an option. Oh, and now we are mashing on block. Going to get hit by that second hit of 2L. Oh, you're not like this. Try to uptake. Oh, and that man using that double jump to try to get out of there. Nice. Oh, the tail? Mm -hmm. Good confirm on the air right there. Definitely going to try to get her out. Nice. And he does have his double jump back. EX, it's a level one instead of level three. Okay, double jumps to get away from the Android 16 assist. Has to be careful for the super dash assist, but does the EX, uh, he's definitely preemptively trying to read a super dash right there. Nice, good combo right there. This is, this is like a Luca show right now. Um, oh, oh, no! And let's, uh, Yo, that was the most Dragon Ball thing we've seen all day. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Android 16. Oh, big whiff, but no punish. We good. And the oh, assist he, to catch. He has no meter to confirm, but gets hit with the Vidal assist. And he's going to be back in the corner. Lucar has no meter, though. Going to be able to get that sliding knockdown off the ground. 
Oh, we're sparking it up. So we're tired. Doesn't do the empty vantage though to start up their offense. Wasting out their sparking time. Finally moves up, but gonna get hit right out of it. And we're gonna get a full combo wasting up that sparking time. Thank you for your spark poses. It's been really appreciated. Ah! Oh, no. And once again, like, Posey's been, like, committing to some of these defensive options a little too much. We've seen the whiff reflect a couple times now, and you can tell Luca is absolutely starting to key into that. Gets a big punish. When it all falls down, I'm telling you now. When it all falls down, I'm telling you. No. Oh. oh, we got the rejump. We even got the rejump. He's not a real 16 player. Where's the combo? Oh. Yeah, this is. Oh, no, that was it. You had the stagger. No confirm. Oh, all right. Again? Again, Again brother? I don't think so. Oh, same side, level three? Yep. All right. All right, so you're going to take your Oki right here. You, you, he gets a float mix off this, right? I'm not tripping. Uh, he doesn't get a float mix. He gets like a safe jump. Oh, oh right, right, right. He right. also do that for like a little 50 50. Oh. Nope. <laughs> yeah, nope. that's that's nope. what you yeah. do there. That makes sense. Damn, uh, so Posey yeah. falling just shy. He said, give me a hug, brother. Yeah, yeah. Give me a hug. There it, it is. It almost had me in the first half. <laughs> it was it yeah. was a really good game one, honestly. That, like that credit where credit's due. Like Posey. Oh, uh, they hugged again. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thanks, it's all though. Thanks bro. for letting me get to top eight, Posey. <laughs> <laughs> Say you're, 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 I'm, I'm going to win just for you, baby. Let's go. Say your, your cash out will be there shortly oh, for all the selling that you've done. That's crazy. <laughs> ah, That's uh, that, that's going to be a hard one to go back and watch for Posey, which it was unfortunate. You did so many good things in game one. Um, but, like, as soon as Luca got it down to one character piece, it was just, like you, like you said earlier, overcommitted to too many options, tried to force the issue. And, and when you lost that, it was it was yeah, like, Posey, like, like tried to turn it up to 12. You're in the lead. You yep. have the live lead. You have Goku Black. You play around, and you have one a very strong neutral assist. You just play around 5S. If he tries full screen counter, you just crouch in 2H if he does it. If he does uh, 6H, you, you can, like, literally just jump out, or you can even, like, press a button afterwards. Yep. But my man was, uh, he's a little, he got a little too antsy. It's like, a, it's the bad, the, the bad chick finally messaged you back. She said, yo, let's meet up. Yeah. And you're just like, yeah. oh, let's go, baby. Yeah, like, it's 2 a.m. That's my time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so no. <laughs> I need, I need water. <laughs> where, where, where do you come up with these analogies, bro? Oh, my God. I, I, I wish, oh, man. I wish I was that good. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, so we're going to see uh, Tails, Miles, whatever back my on the screen right here. My man is going against the ramen man. This is crazy. He is, he is every college college player's, like, dream right now. True. Maybe, maybe not dream, but, but lifesaver, for life, sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, really yeah, life. yeah. What you mean? You didn't dream of just, like, ah, if I could just have the unlimited ramen. Man, if I could just I ramen to, all the time. Yeah, though? then I don't, have to, I don't have to buy it if I have a, a big, giant, unlimited walking ramen. It seems pretty straightforward to me. I don't know. Exactly. Um, so who, who is this? Two time, two time, fifty six ninety one. Mm. Hell yeah! All right. Um, not familiar, unfortunately, but we saw we saw some levy action. Um, and uh, I saw two time yesterday. Two, two time, I'm pretty sure has like a baby team. Okay. It's really good. No. No. Two time has Roshi. Is this? This is about this to be a button check, right? This, this got to be a button yeah, check. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say. Two time plays right. Roshi. This is about this is about to be hilarious. This is about to be funny. Yeah. I, it, there's two ways this can go. If Levy knows how to play Roshi, he might be fine. If he does not know how to play against Roshi, he will 100% be losing this game. <laughs> he will certainly not be fine. He will certainly not be fine. Hey, we'll see. Um, I, I haven't seen Roshi action in a minute, actually, so that's that's pretty high. Very uh, much looking forward to that. Let's just say the old man got him a nice little blue chew, and he's feeling great nowadays. Hell yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't miss the, uh, what, what was it, the B assist? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't, I don't miss that at listen, all. Listen, that was the, awful. When the B assist made Goichi lose, it was confirmed <laughs> that it would never come back again. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> they saw they saw that man Kazunoko out of practice use Go Tanks and Roshi. I never thought Go Tanks was gonna be a real character again after that. Right? Yeah. But, but look yeah. He's got some sauce though. We saw it earlier. Like yeah, Go Tank. Yeah. Go Tank's still chilling. Oh, I, I thought that man was gonna be gone forever, but low key he's still back. So here he is. This is two times team: Beerus, Krillin, Roshi. Uh, two humans and a god. My goodness. He definitely he definitely has a. Uh, 
There's definitely a season one team on, over on Leslie's time, man. Yeah, for sure. It's for ugly. sure. <laughs> it's ugly. It's ugly. Man. <laughs> yeah, anytime I see that kid boo, uh, oh, I, I, a certain part of my stomach turns, and it's like, yeah, mm. the Daytonian in me definitely looks at kid boo players and goes, mm. <laughs> what you doing over here? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. <laughs> Waking up from the cat nap, getting ready to hop right into this. Um, I think we got it. Oh, get the CS is nice. And he's using Roshi Beam Assist, which has also got buff on the hit stun as well as the block stun. Very good assist right there. And two time getting that first hit, trying to set him up. The cat's going to play with the balls. He hasn't been neutered yet. No, sir. Oh, oh missed the pickup, too? That's huge. Mm -hmm. Oh, C assist, though. Uh -oh. Those those vertical tracking C assists oh, yeah. are, like, if, if you don't know how to deal with that, you are going to have a bad time. Oh, yeah, the full screen tracking ones, those are the goats. It, it, it lets you know if your opponent knows how to really move in this game. For sure. <laughs> Best DP in the game, baby. There it is. Oh, did, did the disc just miss? Yeah, did, the disc, did I see that? Yeah. Okay, the cool. ball was way too hot. The, 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 this, uh, the disc entirely was going to miss. But he recovered so fast, he's practically plus. Okay, all right. That makes me feel a little better. I, I, I thought my ass were playing tricks on me for a minute. Oh, tag the assist, but not able to catch out Broly here. Nice. Yeah, just, just normal Kid Boo things. Oh, yeah, Kid Boo be assist, baby. We don't play A anymore. We don't need that. No. We want our B assist. Drop I remember down. everyone was like, if you had A, you used to sit up there, set up some mix. Oh! oh there it is. That's All a, right. That's a, that's how I want to make top eight set up. <laughs> yeah, for real. 100%. Oh, my goodness. Levy's like, I've tasted it. I had my chance in winners, and I am not missing it right now. Ooh, okay. We don't check Dragon Rushes here, though. Absolutely. Let's see. The question is, are you switching to Roshi? No. All right. Got the Roshi assist. Going to force out the smart DP. I thought he was going DP, smart DP. Uh, it definitely was what a real Bears play would have did. Oh, my. He did auto. He did light, light, empty vanish and just got a hit. You know what? I love this game. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. It really is. All right. So we're going to see some Roshi now. Tagging out level three. So what, what, what's the sauce going to be here? What, what do we need to watch out for if you're, if you're not used to watching Roshi? All right. So this is what you got to watch out for. He's going to feel sleepy very soon. Oh, no. Yeah, Add I mean, the bait. Oh, is he going to go for the command grab soon? Oh. Nope. Still not yet. Oh, but this stagger is going to get him a medium starter. And he drops wow. the rejump. That could have been huge for two time right there. Okay. And instead gets opened up by the 6M and two assists. El Clasico, if you will. Listen, that's still unblockable to this day, man. Oh, I've, I've lost oh. entire tournament runs because I can't block 6M for sure. Nice. And the massive relief. Going to be able to get the side switch off of this, too. Hell yeah. Look at, my, look at the damage on my man. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then level one, give him the wood. Yeah. Level oh. one, second one. That's not going to be enough. Nope. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, he's got a little, little. <laughs> he's like, I'm sure this is going to hit him right here. Trying to tap on the toes right there. Uh, miscalculating the 6M. Mm -hmm. Still unblockable. Yeah. You can see it. My man, that, that was definitely a Street Fighter match right there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Someone's yeah. been playing 6. Someone's been playing a little too much Street Fighter <laughs> 6. Uh -huh. oh, oh, no. Oh, All right, yeah. there it is. Yep. There it is. Trying oh. to find that one hit to close out this character. Now, two time. So this is a lot easier. Like, don't have Spark, but you got almost full health Roshi. Mm -hmm. If you can take Kid Boo off the table like that, you got a chance here. Otherwise, Levy, uh, I don't know, Levy, Levy <laughs> might. Oh, no. Oh, no. Vanishing a little bit too much there, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Once your opponent gets a read on that, you are going to have a bad time. Now we're going to see some level three open. You really vanish right into the assist. You hate to see it. You truly hate to see it. Wouldn't let that happen to me, though. <laughs> could, could it be me? Could be me. Next time I punch Money Match Punk, won't happen. <laughs> wow. And man, just to get the confirm off the beam, this should be the kill, but not able to get the confirm off of the EX flip. But it's okay because Dragon Rush will make the old man go away and game one go into left. I mean, two times said, man. I put on my best fit and I'm still losing. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I don't know, like, th this face right here, look at that. Ain't, ain't nothing bothering that man right there. This is just like, yeah, it's another day at the office right here. I'm just trying to make top eight, you know? You know that head, the, the headphone imprint into my man's afro is going to be crazy after this. It's going to be wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, is, is, is somebody thinking about it? Uh oh, oh. 
Okay. He has another team. Ooh. Let me find out what you're talking about. Oh. That's what I want to see. What? Okay. Hey, oh, okay. I think he I think he feels he needs more mix. Yeah. I mean, but taking out beer. Is, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I, 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 I guess, you know what? He doesn't want to he doesn't want to play the more technical character. Mm. So it's time to go with bananas. Blue Gogeta time, yeah. Breaking out all the bananas here. Um, I don't know. This is I, I gotta this character's got a special place in my heart. Blue Gogeta is hella fun in this game. Um, so I'm I'm always happy to see him on the screen, but uh <laughs> nah, I, I had enough. Yeah, I was gonna I, say I understand I, the people that don't like him. I get I, it, I get I had, it. Yeah, I had yeah. a full tour of this man. Yeah, you did. In every almost every country I could think of. Yeah, you I, did. I, <laughs> I'm so happy that at least now you can play him with all the teams. Oh, and that is a medium start. He did get by the second part of the auto combo. But the, the rocks need a little stuff to a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Oh, my goodness. All right, not blocking high right there. And Levy going to get the game plan started. Not going to get enough for a level three, but you are perfectly happy with just the regular old OP. Yup, two times kind uh, of the spark. spark. already? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I mean, you called it out. Like, clearly believes in Blue Gita, uh, Blue Gita here, like, oh let's my. keep him alive. Wall Cup 5L going to beat the 2H right there from Levy. And just like that, he lost his character. Easy. Easy. Look at that. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, but he had your meter game. <laughs> <laughs> you had your meter. Wow. Yeah, you know what? Don't need to worry about the meter game if you're not spending meter, though. Exactly. Two-time saving. Let's go. I mean, listen, right here, you still get a two-touch mission there. Oh, you tried to round start to him, that big fella. He was off that TOD. That's crazy. <laughs> he didn't have no spark anymore, so he definitely wasn't going to be able to get it like that. Oh, oh true, The true. online classic. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, two times going to be losing. Blue, go, Jita. Say goodbye. You had a good run. You got a character off of him, but now you got you to gotta rely on the two humans. Listen, bro. I mean, I'm so happy. Blue Gogeta is already gone. To sayonara, sucker. <laughs> oh, and the big meaty claw. He's gonna get him right there. Uh, drop him into the combo. He has to delay it. You have to delay it a little bit more because of how tiny Grillin is. Yeah. Oh, look at the vanish. Oh, oh, vanish on vanish. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Now open him up. Solo flame. Oh, just so you know, that's a full anti here now. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Ooh, the tag goes unbaited. Oh, nice. Got a shot right here. Two time gonna get that oh, life back to Krillin. Uh, uh. There it is. Look, look, look. And then guess what? Solo combo after this. Oh hell yeah. Oh yeah, I told you, my yeah, man got a, he's got a nice little blue chew in the system. He's feeling great. Oh yeah, we had a smart. That was about to get nice. He got hit by the second part of the rock regardless. Oh yeah, look at it. The Roshi movement. All right, come back here, old man. Oh my goodness. Come back here, old man. I'm not finished. Uh uh. All right, six ball. Yeah, I was gonna say we're definitely gonna see level oh, three. Look, look. He can do it. The slow one. I was gonna out. say yeah. Oh, but then we dropped the combo. That That's about to be a six ball. Kick. Oh, he has no reaction. Hate to see it. Hate Two to times figured it out. He's like, wait, he can't react. He can't react. Let's say he still has to pull out the little command grab to miss the ungiving speed. Uh, oh wait, uh, uh, I don't know about that. Is that that had to have been a missing ball, right? I mean, when you do it, when you do a direction, you get central beam. Mm. So maybe he didn't uh, return the neutral block when he called the assist. Yep. You hate to see it. Slight execution error is uh, going to cost two time right there, and now Levy on the verge of eliminating two time. Wow, that's, that's a top eight. No, we got a chance. No level three. Oh, the dragon rock. Boom. All right, seven bars. How how you gonna spend this? How you gonna spend? Oh yeah, one hundred percent level three. 100%. Easy. Easy. You won't be able to see this. Watch this. DX after mid mid, same side low. Oh! Whoa, you woke this? up and held it, bro? No, he tried to 2H in it with Krillin's poor tiny arm. Oh! You chose the right thing and you lost. That's you wild. You chose the right thing and you lost. You chose the right thing and you lost. As you can tell. Oh. Your, your 2H isn't active enough, bro. Yeah, Krillin has to time that so much better than, than him. Yeah, yeah. Than, like, can't. any other character. Just... Yeah, you can't auto-time by, like, some characters. That well, my is, man, my oh, man said. That's crushing. I got you now. Goku, Goku's like, no, you don't. Nah, 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 fam. I know this matchup. We've been running this since, since the original Dragon Ball days. Like, we we, we played this before. Krillin, difference is, I got some power. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Krillin just ain't got the length for the girth to handle it. But just like that. My man Levy will be our last player into the top eight. And we are going to go.
into a break right now. Wait, I thought we had one more, but one more. I'm tripping. But uh, tripping. Don't worry about it looks like we're going to a break anyway. So, uh, last break. Any last word? No, no, this is it. This is it. Stick around. Uh, top eight's coming at the arena pretty soon, I believe, Ooh, if I remember so correctly. So, there. Thanks for uh, tuning in, and uh, we'll see you all soon. Peace out. Peace.